<sighs> okay. Wait, she's intro on the show? She's intro on the show. <laughs> oh. She's I intro on the show. I yeah. Know. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, was I, 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 know. I was not I aware. I was not aware. she was just like, I, 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 Nah, I you know, because we, right, 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 we take too long to bring Rosie in. You okay. feel me? So it's like, just... Why don't you come out, intro come the out, show and just women's rights? Let's go. Me. No, no, nigga, no, no, just go. We're not gonna make. We're not gonna I, make it a big deal. That's I don't that's see. the thing. Once you make it a big thing, <laughs> now it's a big like, deal. Now it's a thing. Just right? go. When you just do it. They're like, oh, okay, that was a nice change. All right, just and then do you it. roll. No, no, do. Bro. <laughs> do it. Now the pressure's on. Now I the can't do it. Not all, First of all, it's not a live show, bro. We can we can do it over. We can do it over again. Like it's that's a. It is live. Let's get potted, man. I'm about to scoop you right now. Oh, we out? Finally? Let's get to it. Give me one minute. I'll be outside. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Come on, bro. What up? You see who's back, right? You Come see on, who's man. back, right? Come on. Hey. <laughs> you see who's back. Tuss, tuss, tuss. Ah, let's go, gang. people hey. welcome back to another episode of say less with kaz loki rosie i uh-huh. think they got me doing this because it's women's history month i'm not <laughs> sure see? look how good However, that was we how have how good that a was. friend of the show in the building with us yes for the what time like the second third, oh, it was the third, third time, time. Yeah, third i'm time. three first time, time. Hey. First hey. time <laughs> three time guest on first say time, less we should have brought him like a little. We're gonna get to, we're gonna get you like a little smoker's jacket, like for the five times uh, yes. club. <laughs> this also counts on many wrestling promotions I've been signed to as well. <laughs> we By got <laughs> my brother, the one and only Swerve Strickland, fresh from Orlando last night, announcing yeah. his newest deal as a member of All Elite Wrestling. Yes, sir. It was an incredible sellout show last night at the UCF Arena. I want to say, was it UCF? UFF? Yeah, UCF. It was a 10,000. Can y'all 10, also like people? dumb it down for like the non-wrestling So fans? for the folks who may not know, obviously in, in, Good host. You know. See? <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. No, and Lo, no, Lo doesn't no, either. No, we just be no, 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 saying. No, no. I, I don't know and I've, I've never known. So AW I, is a, an incredible wrestling promotion that has popped off in the past like three years. Yeah. Yep. Backed by a uh, billionaire and owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars, Tony Khan, uh, has some of your favorite wrestlers that you either grew up with or you know have become fans of through WWE or New Japan or whatever. It's like it's been almost twenty years since the WWE, which is like the monopoly of professional wrestling, has had true competition. Mm. We grew up on what WWF versus WCW WWF. and all that. Stuff. WWF. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but you all remember WCW, right? Like that was NWO. Stay. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, woman yeah. Crush yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Woman Crush Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. hey. well, I, I say all that to say, AW. You're doing good. I mean, I, doing I did great. it. Doing I, great. I like. You're a great leader. You can lead. You can do these things, bro. Doing good, baby. I have questions. I say all that to say, AW is the first company since WCW, WCW, to truly give. The WWE run for its money in right. North America. Okay. You know, they have had an absolute stranglehold on the wrestling business in the, right. the past, since my whole life, really. Yeah. And uh, in these past three years, they made an incredible strides. They've signed some of the biggest names in professional wrestling. Okay. And the latest signee is our good friend, Swerve oh. Strickland, who had an incredible reception. The crowd went nuts for you. Bro, it was crazy. I, like, I had all this stuff I wanted to say, and Tony was like, yeah, you know, give a couple lines or whatever. I was like, okay, sure. And so I go out, and then, like, everybody just starts chanting my name. Like, 10,000 people just chanting. With the who like, house? Yeah, I'm like, I ain't got to say this shit. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to let it rock for a How second. How's that feel, though? Like, because yeah. there's, oh, I know there's that thing in the back of your yeah. head, like, Damn, I hope these people fuck with me. Like, I yeah. hope they like me. I was very fortunate, the fact that we were in Orlando. I'm debuting in Orlando, and I spent, like, the last three years um, with NXT wrestling all over Orlando, doing these coconut shows where, like, oh, we're going to Fort Myers, we're going to Fort Pierce, we're going to uh, Sebring, yeah. and going down to Miami and all these other places. So I've wrestled all around there for the last two, three years. Mm-hmm. And then being doing NXT TV every week, every week, my name kind of blew up and grew, especially when I won the championship over there. Yeah. Um, so... By the time, like, 
I'm jumping to jumping ship to the next place or whatever. They let me go. I go over to All Elite Wrestling. Like the buzz was already building up on the internet and All Elite Wrestling. The thing about them is, is they got this huge internet following. Yes. So one thing happens in those one promotion over here in Seattle or in LA or New York or whatever. Mm -hmm. Everybody hears about it because they want to see. They they're all following and they grew up watching it from stream services and all that. Even my overseas like um, following watches all elite wrestling they're just tuned in so just all these elements just combined from mm -hmm. my inkling of a debut and then right. it actually happens last night it was just like yo he's here our guy is here and he's going to show out and the reception was crazy i couldn't like but did you expect that reaction i was expected like certain like sections but not the entire arena right. you know and now i was like now i was like all right let me play with him let me test him real quick <laughs> i was like i was like so i just go to the mic i'm like Whose house? And they go, Swerve's house. I'm like, oh, okay, it's real. I saw the, so I saw the surprise on your face. Yeah, I was like, oh, ooh. Whose house? It felt like, it was, no, than that. it was like church. I was like, ooh. Because <laughs> it all hit me at one time. So I'm just like, oh, my God. And then it got louder the second one. I was like, you know, I'm going to ride off with two. Man, it was, it was incredible. And what, what's fun about it, like I mentioned earlier, how this is the first time there's been an actual true yeah. alternative competitive brand to WWE. So it gives the idea of free agency mm. that wrestling yes. has never had. Like, yeah. you know, and that's, you know, mo half of the fun of talking about the NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball is like, right. where is somebody going to go? When are they going to sign? Who's going to pop up where or whatever? Right. So, you know, there's a lot of ways to do that type of thing. But you got the big deal. Like, here's his contract. He's going to sign the contract in right. front of all these people in the middle of a pay-per-view. Right. which was one of their biggest pay-per-views of the yeah. year. Okay. And, Probably uh, going to do a crazy amount of buys. I think they already... Like, the next pay-per-view is in May in yeah. Vegas. Because they only do four a year. Yeah, four a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, this one already is, has a million buys for the next pay-per-view. Crazy. And, that, like, we just had this pay-per-view. You got to give May. it up to them, man. Yeah. AEW is, is they rocking, bro. great, fun, entertaining. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it, and it's got an energy to it, right? You can feel mm -hmm. the crowd, like, as every show. Even, like, even like dark. Even, like, the, the, yeah. the smaller shows like, all have an energy to it. So, congratulations to you, man. Thank you very you much, man. Yes, Thank you, bro. You're, you're a friend yeah. of the show. You're Appreciate a friend of the it. fam, bro. So, when I saw you out there, I was like, that's, that's my nigga. Let's go. Let's go. You better say his cat. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm one of the only niggas out here. So, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and, that was a, and that was the point I was going to bring up. Like, you know, being a person of color in that industry, you you know, it's not easy to crack. It's not easy to stay consistent and remain a main staple. Right. And to sign big deals and, you know, have these big promotions. So that is a big thing for you. And then, you know, kids that look like you growing up, they probably don't think, you know, well, how, you know, I like wrestling, but it's not cool to some of my friends and this and a third. So here you are making it right. cool and progressing by stage, by stage, by stage. So that's dope to. That's true. Since I don't, since I don't watch wrestling, I didn't think about it that way. Like Come to Wally Mania, though. Uh huh. I have yeah, yeah, we are. We are. But, but I thought. Yeah, but I thought. Did he tell you what I thought while he made? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she was like, "Am I gonna wrestle?" I was like, "I was like, is it's it like, like wrestling?" No, she, was like, she was telling me like, "Is it like mud wrestling in a big old like, 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 in a big like club?" I'm like, "Whoa!" <laughs> Where all these wrestlers just like fight no, each other? Like I thought it was like, like all star. Like, oh, it's, like, it's like the NCAA tournament for wrestling. Right. But they play there. Like Wally Mania. Yeah, like, uh -oh. like, they come together. Maybe a weekend, maybe. Yeah, they play, it's though. A, it's, an event. It's, it's just a party. Yeah. It's like a party. So there's no it's matches? That's there's no what, matches. Thank you. Oh, I matches. thought it was like an all-star. <laughs> and that's the thing. See? Like, see? see, there's so much more bridging together we got to do with this whole thing. Exactly. I thought it was matches. But don't so, listen know, to me. You know I also I thought, you know what I thought WWE was? I thought it was, I thought WWE was like the woman's side. Of WWF, <laughs> so you oh, thought it was like women. I thought it was WWF for men, and then WWE was like where women wrestled. Oh, no. I didn't know that they changed. They're all yeah. the same thing. Yeah. WWF was well when I was younger. It was changed. WWF, so yeah. I didn't know they changed the name. I the World thought, Wildlife. I literally fun. thought y'all yeah. yeah. niggas was like wrestling. Like, That's I thought, what I, I thought. It was I, matches. Yeah. I thought it was so, all star. Wally Mania. So it's just a pretty, it's a big ass party. So Wally yeah. Mania, oh, wrestlers and wrestlers. I'm definitely going to explain it in layman's terms. Is Duce Palooza for wrestling? Mm-hmm. That's exactly a party. what it is. Yes. <laughs> but like every, a party, everybody. A party, but all the wrestlers comes. come and party. Oh, okay. Everybody comes. Like, right. And then Wale brings his people, and then like, you know. It's like the so it's like the Grammys for wrestling. Yeah. You That's know what a the, great what way the to great part it. part it's, just, it's just a slam oh, right, together right. of I'll, like, I'll, I'll down we're bringing all this hip hop. I like that together. me and Lo are not going to know who the fuck anyone I'm is. not going to know. So, yeah, so I'm definitely down to like. So I hope I don't talk crazy to somebody who kind of like, do you know who that was? Like, nah. But that's the fun part because when we that's, had it in New York, I expect that to happen. When we had what? it, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like you're not 
going to know. You're not probably not going to know a lot of people. No, but, you think someone's all crazy to like, yeah. just say some wild shit. Anybody like, with no. big deltoid muscles is going to be wrestling. <laughs> just, just put, yeah. no, I'm just, I'm just going to look at you like I don't know you. Yeah. Like, no disrespect. Like, So if you see me at, you know, what's it called? Uh, Wally, Wally Mania. Wally Mania yeah. If you see me there and, I, and I'm not like, you know, enamored to greet you, just I, will no, not I don't know. know what well, I'm going right. to just, I'm just assume be. anybody who's muscly. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna walk up. Yo, yo, bro, you doing your thing. Man. That's a, and, and that's if you another come thing. Up to me, though, I'm gonna slap you. And, and, you do your and, thing, and, and that's another thing where I try to like break a lot of those tropes because wrestlers dress like wrestlers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, wait, wait, like wrestlers. Wait. You know what I'm talking I know exactly about. What you're talking you know what about, I'm talking you know, about. You know, They're like wrestlers us. dress like like. Just regular jeans. They're not like fitted jeans. They're not like no designer brands. They're just some Levi's with they some sneakers. They dress like they go to the airport because they yeah. live at the airport. <laughs> they live at the airport, so they don't really like mingle or so go out. So that's how they're going to dress at Wally so, Or like wear a tight t-shirt. Well, not for Wally yeah. Mania. That's the thing. But like nobody just, dresses down. Like the wrestlers don't really dress down. Well, can y'all like, wear outfits? Few. Yes. That's like, the whatever good, you that's want. That's the fun thing about Wally Mania. <laughs> can y'all wear like your, <laughs> your, your wrestling outfits? I'm wearing outfits. this. <laughs> <laughs> you look great with what you're wearing at Wally Mania. You look great. You're fine. No, I'm saying well, the wrestlers be dressed up. This is all Wally Mania appropriate fits right here. There'll be a select few that know how to dress down like that. Mm. I thought y'all were gonna be in y'all wrestling suits and shit. No, oh, that, that's what's fun about it though, because no. you see, no, you we see the wrestlers <laughs> not in that element. Yeah. Like, Your action figures. Now yeah. we've done it. I'm a human. I'm a human first. You're an action figure. <laughs> so there's no wrestling. There's no wrestling. No. So no, no. one's but that nobody weekend. at that, the weekend. Like there's events going on that weekend where there is wrestling. If wrestling you would like to go over. see them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh no, I don't. So, okay. <laughs> so, like now you're saying it's a party? No, okay, now my mind now is focused kidding. on that. Yeah, right, cool. Guys, you watch wrestling? Yeah, let's well, got you. I mean, yeah, you wrestling in, I'll I come support. Hey, hey. Rosie. Media What's life. Let's it's go. It's Women's History Month, man. It is Women's History Month. Yes. I wanted to do some women's stuff. Yes. But I didn't Since know we what... Called you that all types of that, see, yeah, see, no, 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 like, no, see, no. see? and y'all now y'all see. Is that why you invited now me to WrestleMania? See, right? Is this cool. like an audition or something? <laughs> I'm going to now y'all see how this you know nigga moves. You know what's funny though? You know what's funny though? I like how this. I like how this works out. I've seen it happen. <laughs> Is this like an amateur it, night? I've seen it happen what? where like you know women are walking around amongst wrestlers and someone's like, you know what, you should maybe like you maybe a tryouts and you're bigger than a lot of women wrestlers I know. You see? You see? Yo, not bro, me. like you don't, don't. Hey, niggas trying. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, bro. Go what ahead. you guys are gonna do right now? I'm Let's not try doing make shit. It seem like, like, I, something like you it just isn't. said, I'm bigger than a lot of the wrestlers. A lot. No. I know a lot of women wrestlers. I'm sure and you're in better like, shape than I'm a lot. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'm saying I'm anything, not wrestling. Bro. I'm not saying you're wrestling. I'm just saying I've seen it happen. I'd rather box. Walking around, you're like, oh. you would not rather box than wrestle. I would rather. Yeah, way more fun. I wanna, but I wanna hit people for real. You can. You can hit people for real. Okay, then you have to actually. That's yeah. to be a good show. Like, like hit me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you don't have to like dip and dodge and none of that stuff. It's like, I yo, know. I'm going to hit this person look right low, here. Look at Lolo. Lolo's like, mm. I'm not saying shit because last week, mm. Kaz, I feel like you're only saying this because Swerve is here and you know I'm not going to curse you out for bashing me. Oh, so you're, you're censoring yourself now? No, because you're calling me a wrestler and I don't, don't want to talk in front don't of him. Don't let me like dictate any of this. I am calling you a wrestler. I'm literally just saying. You said, you know what though? Actually, <laughs> well, if you saw what happened actually, last week, um, so I learned I'm from last week. I'm literally saying. Oh yeah, did she like body you just or pick you up like that? Yeah, yeah I learned from yeah. last Because he was calling me strong woman though and, strong and stalking. And stop He's posting that shit on your Instagram stories then. What? You working out? I am working out. What the fuck you mean? I know world champions that don't work out as hard you. Thank okay, you. But Thank you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm, I'm like, saying. Yo, like, I know actual women wrestlers that don't go as hard. I'm yeah. like, I, I will totally see if you're walking amongst the wrestlers, they're probably going to think you're one. You're like, no, I'm just a man. Why, like, why, really? why would y'all go there, though? Why can't I just look? Why can't it just be like, are you Rosie, a trainer? You because I, are you a trainer? Rosie, you Trainers post hard. Because like, I said Rosie, I work you see out harder. Shit, right? I've seen you it. haven't yet. I've seen it before. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, women's history month. <sighs> we could have went so many ways with that. I know so many women that post like they're but trainers. I, but I'm wrong. You, you. Were I wrong. was wrong. You right? used a very wrong. Nigga word. just called her a wrestler, but I'm wrong. Well, coming from wrong? me, it's not a derogatory term because I love wrestling. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's like the way he compliments people. I think. Yeah. No, it's just, <sighs> see, he walks into these. He walks into these. All right, the so day. for Women's Thank History you. Month. The only thing we could come up with that I thought would be dope would be female president. Yeah, because we tried that and it didn't really Ooh. go out that way. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Like in real life. Oh, like, yeah. Which... <laughs> Yo, bro, really? During it's like, Women's like, History it's Month. Like, no, I mean, we, tr we, we had a candidate who ran. Okay, well, yeah. Okay, so not that win. candidate. We're going to pick, <laughs> I say we pick 
You want realistic ones. I don't. I don't want realistic. I want president. funny ones. I want, <laughs> no, no, we want funny ones. Yeah, funny I want ones. Oh, so we drafting? I want yeah, we're, drafting. Yeah. Drafting. we're drafting. So yeah. everyone's going to put up their pick for their favorite, like their I'm going first. nomination. Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg? Yep. All right, why Whoopi Goldberg, yo? I like Whoopi. I like she stands on it. She stands on she has she makes a case and she stands on it no matter what. You can't waver it. Whoopi absolutely. She'll take the punishment, the suspension, whatever. She's sticking with it. Good for her, bro. I'm she, going Whoopi. <laughs> she she one thousand percent yeah. like says what she means, sticks by it. You need to be like that in the politics. Yeah, yeah. Like you can't let a man come in and be like, You're wrong. What? <laughs> but I don't know, a small part of me needs my politician just to lie just a little bit. <laughs> just a well, little I mean, bit, that's, I mean, that's a lot that's of that's politicians. That's, 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 that's what yeah. they do, that's but yeah, job. yeah, like yeah. something you got a lot of me, just a smidge, bro. Like that's I don't, I don't job. need to know the whole truth. Like I don't need to know everything. Truth. I don't need to know no shit, actually. Yeah, tell me what I want to hear. Yeah, like I don't need to know what the fuck y'all doing in, in Washington until I don't, I don't really is that why men make better candidates? Probably because we lie. Who? Wait, what? Men? Yeah, men are, men, are better, men are better at telling you like they're better politicians. No, we don't. Men don't. Men aren't better liars. No, women are better liars. I think women, women are, are better, better leaders. Liars. They lead you on with lies. It's Ooh, not, you know what I mean? They let's they do that. they lead you to where they Aww. you what you need to believe. So I don't think Whoopi would be. I've been raised by women. Wow. I have been <laughs> raised by women. Raised by women. So oh, come Sisters, on, guys. Let's and I have two daughters. It. Yes, uh -huh. I know what they're telling me to keep me. In my place of where course. I need to be, of course. rather than where I need to, where I want to be. Let's I'm not a, make I'm that gender specific. I'm a well-trained dog. I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and men like being led. No, 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 no. There's times you like being led. That, that, that's human interaction. No, we, I, I, we, I told, we, I told no. my fiance, I'm like, listen. I'm following your lead, baby. Like, just mm -hmm. tell me bark. Uh, Happy tell me, wife. Tell me how, Happy how wife. high. I'm like, well, that's a different conversation. I'm Because mm -hmm. I've seen my father do that. <laughs> I, I was like, I've watched my father just, like, lead. I mean, like, he took care of the household. But, mm -hmm. like, certain decisions, like, my mom was the, the gatekeeper. You okay. know what's funny? I love seeing couples like how your parents probably were because older couples, like, the dads give up after a while. They're just like, whatever yeah. she wants. And I would have whatever seen, whatever seen, she wants. You, know, you, know, you, know, you, you have to. The <laughs> effort to be right just slowly you know, just dissipates. You know what's funny, funny about like, that? I don't even need to be this right right yeah. now. And I would like... But dads my, don't because care my dad, Because my age. dad is... He's not competitive, but my dad is very like... He's like... I see where I get it now, right? Mm -hmm. Like he's stuck in his ways. He's mm -hmm. like, this is what it is. Mm -hmm. And I had like, before my mom passed, I always would have to remind him, I'm like, yo, bro, like <laughs> you're not gonna, like you uh, know who this woman is. Yeah. Like, Lo was a little devil on the shoulder. You're I'm not like, gonna yo, my, say something. I would have to be like, yo, you know who she is. Like, why are you still trying to battle? You can't. I'm like, and, and it's and it's funny because it's like he like at the time like he was like what 78, uh, 79, like, and I'm like what 33, 34, uh -huh. and I'm just like, I'm like, dad, you don't see it now. You okay. you still don't get it. Yeah. Okay, and it's just like he. And I would have to talk him off the ledge because my mom is just so like off the cusp and she just like she's like me again but she's just like whatever like we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it like that mm -hmm. and instead of third and then he's so logical right and he's trying to like line her up with logic and she's just like nope ah nigga fuck that so with that being said who, oh, yeah, who, who, yeah, who's, yeah, I'm say, who's next oh my <laughs> candidate would be either i have two uh i don't know i feel like we're gonna agree on one let me think who might uh think we might. Walla davis Viola Davis, okay. Oh, I like it. She seems very presidential. Oh. And then very presidential. Um, get, get the, away with the wife from two, no, the great. wife from Good Times. The wife from Good Times. Damn, oh. damn, yeah. damn her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, Viola yeah. Davis, uh, how to get away with murder. So you need that in the candidacy. You do. You do. <laughs> you need that. You see what I'm saying? She, yeah. like she doesn't lose <laughs> arguments. No. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like I would want Step her. Step three. Hide the body. I would want her in the war room when it's time to make a decision. Right. And everyone's trying to like push her to. Another choice, like uh -huh. so, to be firm. Hmm. Is this Amanda Waller, Viola Davis, like Suicide Squad? <laughs> no. Nah, man, I don't know. Oh, because that, she's that's you didn't see Suicide Squad, did nah, you? Yeah. Okay, so in Suicide Squad, she plays like the person who's like what the head of the head of the head agency, of, the agency she, or whatever. She, picks, bugs. she basically yeah. puts the Suicide Squad together, and she's like worse than all of them because she's yeah. just like, she okay, that line, I'll kill you. Mm. And, um, yeah, she's yeah. like Mr. Yeah. Nobody in Fast and Furious. Yeah, 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 yeah. So much, yeah, like more or less. Just get the mission accomplished. Like, but we're killing all these people. I don't care. Get the like, mission we, accomplished. We don't care yeah. about your humanity. Yeah. We don't care about the kids you left at home when you went to jail. Yeah, do the job or else we'll kill you or blow you up. Yeah, yeah. So um, kind of that's war time. Leadership, right? I yeah. mean, hey, yeah, listen, well, we are pretty close. <laughs> I mean, pretty we close are. to getting yeah. it, you know? But yeah, that's, that's what that's uh, my pick. 
my gosh. I would go, I think Hardy B would make a great present. I was going to say that. You were going to say that too? <laughs> Yo. Because she, she gets shit done. Some solid political stances. I'm just like, you know what? Who if that she, came out of anybody else's with? mouth, a lot of people would give you more props for that. Not but I think because say, not she will say. do that politically, all that political talk while eating like crab legs. Yeah. Not, <laughs> not to say, not to say she's not politically inclined. Very politically savvy, I want to say. Or politically savvy. Yes. I think it's the delivery that really rings us in. Her delivery and how she says things and mm. how she articulates things was trying to while making up. sense is what we fall in love with. Yeah. Like, oh, this, this is some Bronx shit. I've <laughs> always... But it made sense. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh <laughs> I've always yeah, said, nigga, I'm riding with this. Yeah. I've always said the true mark of brilliance is making complicated things simple. And that's like what explain it to me like I'm like explain it to me like I'm five. Break it down to me like I'm yeah. a five year old. That's a that's like, a that's a Steve Jobs thing. Yeah, yeah like, he's like he's like I don't want to find the smartest guy to do smart. a job. No, right. I want to get, get the dumbest guy because he's gonna find a way to make it easier to do. Exactly. That's there. what Michael Scott oh. did. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michael Scott will be a great president. <laughs> not saying she's dumb like Michael Scott. I'm not saying she's he's, dumb but like Michael Scott. Michael Scott, Scott wasn't dumb. No, he, was he wasn't dumb. He would play like, he, dumb. To his point. Yeah. yeah. He's one of the. He was one of the dumbest people in the room, but found the easiest way to, to accomplish yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what Michael. Which Scott I've was. always thought was brilliance. It's yeah. like listen. That's what I, yeah. That, to his point. Yeah. You go through so much shit in life. You can smart people can explain this to smart people shit yeah. all the level. Seven year old woman don't know how to work a Pentium processor. Like, exactly, no. exactly. <laughs> and there's only a handful of y'all anyway, right? Like yeah. there's way more dumb people out there than smart people. Mm -hmm. right. Way more. There's probably like three a three to four to one ratio of smart people, dumb people to smart people. So if you can get to that four over that one, shit. I see. I mean, one of our presidents was like a C student. So all of our presidents are C students. <laughs> George Bush was mm. a C student. I think he was a C student. I think yeah. Trump was a C student. I don't even think Trump went to school. I mean, <laughs> like, I don't think the he way did. he talks and the way he, he like conceptualized, there's no way you have like, any like kind if, of education. If, if Cardi B would have had bad. Trump's <laughs> like, term, bro, like, <laughs> like, nigga, like, you are misspelling a lot. Yeah, yeah who's like three tweets in a row? Like, oh, <laughs> the, your phone has autocorrect, my guy. Like, 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 it, the was, phone it was says, a like, punctuation a for me. It says no, that's not how you spell. <laughs> Yo, like, He's like send. <laughs> He's like, you, don't, you don't see the squiggly line when yeah. you send this tweet. There's like, red like, dots under it these, bro. This is a hot topic. Like, no, exclamation points. Spelling is wrong. But he's also like, and then it was just like the the he was hitting enter, so the line be way down here. It'd be like, like, it should be spaced out. It's yeah, like, bro, is this like a presentation that you're giving us right now? Like, like, I think that was the only president that would tweet and everyone worldwide would be like, oh, this, this <laughs> tweet it again. I, I can't like, tell you how many times I saw like his tweets and I'm like, oh, this nigga. Again. I'll be honest, bro. He was entertaining though. Him and Like Bush? if he wasn't president, he would have been a great just SNL character. Listen. That nigga's a wolf. We can say a lot of things about <laughs> Trump. You can't say the dude is not hilarious. He's That's one hilarious. thing. Hilarious. <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh at my president. <laughs> no, no, no. That's, That's the thing. thing. Like, <laughs> That's the thing. thing that I'm not trying to do. Your job is way too important for me to find you hilarious. <laughs> you know, like, I would That's still my laugh. thing. It's like, why am I finding you funny <laughs> yeah, it's like, right nah, now? This is, this is too I much. would still laugh. Like our, our fucking deficit is still rising through the roof, but I'm laughing It's out. one of those laughters that end up in crying. It was just like, like, <laughs> it was yeah. just like you laugh from crying. It was like <laughs> unresponsible humor too. Like the nuke his buttons right here. He has his feet up on the table. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what are you doing? Yo, when he was chewing the, the, the toilet, the, the paper towel free throws into the refugee crowd, I'm like, yo. I felt, yo, I felt like a criminal laughing at this that. This dog really like, don't oh. give a f Yo, what got me was the bur was, was it Burger King that he got the oh my God. as uh, the catering? Uh, the, uh, no, at the, it was uh, Chick-fil-A or something. Like that, the clothes, yeah, 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 like that, that floored me, bro. Jesus that floored Christ, me. Bro. Like you put out a platter of McDonald's for a group of kids that just won a fucking national championship, mm. and that shit was sitting out there. I feel like he thought this this Clemson was like a little league team. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's what kids were like. He was that was what kids were like. He was like, oh, yeah, man. no, yo, he yeah. had no idea. Like, yeah, Clemson, those kids, those kids like that. Yeah, you are grown <laughs> ass men from a fucking yeah. national college yeah. that yeah. just won a championship, and he's giving them burgers and fries. Like, like supreme yeah. athletes, bro. Like, like, <laughs> like half of these dudes are going to the NFL. Yeah, 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 like, like, what are we doing? Yeah. 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 No steak, no but, fucking chicken. Like, bro. They what? probably do. I mean, they probably. Yeah, they're, they're 18. They're like, they'll, they'll be fine. They'll be yeah, fine. I mean, if anything, if Trevor anything, Lawrence over here, bro. They were in college, right? <laughs> like, yeah, you got the number one draft pick right there, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence went number here's one overall. Here's some beer. Hold on. Y'all not going to sit here. Hold on. Y'all not going to sit here and act like college students don't eat 
chicken fingers I'm and fries. Going to the off White season, House. yes. Yeah, the off season. Yeah. yeah. But I'm going, I, I know, bro, I just won a national championship in front of the world, and I'm going to the White House. And the, the best thing you have to offer me is a speech. And a fucking eight piece chicken nugget meal. Yeah, on to top go. Of that, finger food. On top of that, they play at Clemson. <laughs> Here's <play> finger food. <laughs> <laughs> Here's on my top finger of that, food. They just clicked Clemson, me off, and I right? don't know why. So even if they are eating good because they're on a top program or whatever, mm-hmm. you expect when you're going to the White House. That's all I'm saying. Gonna, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. <laughs> it's a hard. You'd you be hard pressed to eat McDonald's in a suit. When you eat McDonald's in a suit, you eat in a rush. <laughs> or you don't like, give a fuck you're about a, or society. You just don't care. Like, you just, yeah, like, you just came from a job you interview. Don't care. <laughs> or you got like in between meetings. Like, oh, let me go get a burger real quick. Yeah, I have a like, like, nigga, I'm going to the White House, bro. Lay that shit out for me. What, and what crabs? Si- make a, and what yeah, situation? Yeah. Crab yeah. Like, bro, where's some wonton? Like, where's the wine at? Like, what are we talking about? In what situation are you sitting down in a suit eating McDonald's? Uh, Clearly, when? when when Trump is president. Oh, oh okay. Uh, I would say I would say after a. Eating McDonald's after uh, after a custody hearing. <laughs> after, <laughs> after a custody hearing, I lost I custody during recess. No, I lost custody. No, I lost custody. No, I lost custody. I had to pay up. <laughs> I got about twenty dollars left in my pocket. <laughs> menu. No. I want to get a quarter pounder. So you said a lot of money. Don't even know. What's the scenario? After, after, after church. What's the scenario? Oh, you said after church. Ooh, after church. After okay, church. After church. I was gonna say some pursuit after happiness church. scenario or some shit. Like, no, after right church. Right you after driving by? You know, little kids can't see the M. That's fucked up. I said after the job. Yeah, after like situation. Yeah, like we running like from the bus the with a big old. I say after church because your kids are going to Or after the job interview that you know is going to change your life. So you're like, let me remind myself where I was. Let me have this last meal. I think this when is you, hilarious. I think, <laughs> yo, you definitely have McDonald's ads during this I think it's when you got a... <laughs> there's, there's a bag right I there. think it's when you down and out <laughs> and you just like, hey. I came here, so... I think it's when right. you down and out and you got your son and you just running for the bus with a bone density scanner, yeah. bro. Just like, ah. Well, this... this to the happiness shit. I hate that they make McDonald's like broke food, like... It's not broke food. It's, it's convenient. It's convenient food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but but a lot of people make it like, oh, you eat McDonald's. Yes, actually, I do sometimes. Yeah. Oh, nigga, I, listen, I, I'll eat a McDonald's breakfast any day of the week. Of I don't care. Oh yes, I'm, I'm, if I'm on the move. McDonald's is the move, is the, always the move. Hey y'all, when you open a crispy chicken sandwich bag, the steam that comes out is the best surprise. All right, there's so many things to love about the McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich is the best place to get one, whether it's the buttery bun or it's the crispy crumbs, whether it's the juicy, tender tastiness of the McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich. Make sure you use the McDonald's app and get one today. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Mwah. Delicious. Ew. <laughs> no buttery, buttery buns. buns. Always. Uh, like I just can't. Nah, yeah. oh, you're an athlete. I'm not. Well, he doesn't. That. He, oh. Any oh more, wait. What? Any more, oh wait. What? Not, I mean professionally. You're not an athlete. I mean professionally. Ah. Only one of us gets paid to be an athlete here, so that's the way I was. Big bad. I mean, the way you were talking about, it, like you was getting paid, but yeah. Right, I mean, we'll, I'll, we'll, I'll, we'll, 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 we'll move on to the next time. Yeah, <laughs> oh, now you're getting paid. Not an athlete. It only took a real athlete to be here for him to not. Oh yeah, now he humbled. Now he humbled. Now he humbled. The real nigga came to the building. Now you don't want to talk that big shit. Oh, you're not an athlete no more. Well, no. You know what he did? He took them braids out of his head, and now he's thinking clearly. Because whenever he had the little afro, he thinks very on point. I don't know. The, he had the afro when he said uh, he was an athlete. I don't I'm bringing the braids back next week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. When, <laughs> when them braids and that back. shit, his, listen, As that a, forehead it do, push it do back. make you think a little harder. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Hurt, hurt little, no, you know, you know, you know what that was? Fatherhood. He's like, I ain't that athlete no more, man. Ah, that was, those days, oh, I used to be the man back in the day. That's why I called him Al Bundy, ah. bro. Ah, for polka days. Yeah. Right? What touchdown. Uh, this nigga yeah. really thought he was saying some shit with them braids. Oh, my God. I love like my bread. Sam, what's popping, bro? I'm about to say, where oh, the fuck Sam? are we guy at? I mean, damn. He was at bro. war. <laughs> 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 he was, that nigga was hunting. He Sam, was come hunting. here and say real quick. He was hunting. That nigga was duck hunting. You did say you wanted some duck. Did you find some Sam? Did you find some duck? I know folks have seen some great content. This is my boy Sam. <laughs> the incredible Sam. There you go. You don't even know where to go. Ayo Sam on Instagram, Twitter. Get him all your content needs, you know what yes, I'm saying? Did we introduce him last week? Yeah, we do, but oh, yeah, I, I, like to, right. I like to I like to get familiar. I'm yeah. I'm I like to keep the I like to keep our listeners familiar. You I'm know, joking. everybody everybody I'm plays joking. their part here. But I like to segue into this. Rosie. What? Host it. Come on. What? 
Oh, I was going to say, speaking of McDonald's and, I was about to say, and not hey, having a lot of money, you know and I kind of want to know. I kind of want to know. Let's go, Rosie. Let's go, Rosie. Let's go. I, love I can't you. do that because you're going to turn it into a meme if I do this. Come on, let's go, Rosie. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing. Rosie. I'm loving the evolution know. of the show. That's what I'm saying. What I'm was loving the it. brokest thing y'all have ever done? Ooh. The brokest thing you, like, the brokest, thing. You, like, the brokest, brokest thing. funny, you, broke, funny. Oh, brokest off top. Thing. Just the brokest Ooh. shit you've ever yeah. done. Off top. I remember, I'm going to keep the McDonald's storyline going. I was <laughs> broke and I had like, Maybe See, like McDonald's broke. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know why I go. I was, it's, it's, nobody said no, no. I was legit broke. <laughs> Hence dollar menu. Um, I was like, I had like what three dollars and sixty seven cents okay, in my okay, account. Right. Yeah, I'm like, low key though. You know, yeah. that's that's what if you got the overdraft, that's yeah. enough. But no, <laughs> no, it was like three sixty seven. I bought some at McDonald's. It was like three fifty eight. <laughs> and I look, I slid it, and I said. <laughs> You ever have to, you ever had that heart to heart with yeah. the cashier? That was the yeah. longest yeah. like that 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 except yeah. I was like oh Jesus. Oh, no. Do y'all remember? Bro. Do y'all remember how That's where baked? I hit low. <laughs> y'all remember how baked when he had the cash meter? Yes. When he went on the date yep. and it was like ding. Yo, there's ding. no way. Yep. There was no way. Cents. Hold on. Hold on. I always wanted to address like, it. Damn. There was no he had $7, right? But then he stole money from the bum. He stole money from the bum at the end. When he went to give it money. That kind of just goes to draw Don't mind if I do. Yeah. <laughs> that, I think that kind of He was like sauerkraut extra 50 cents. But like, also the cab shit. ride. I'm like, what cab That's ride what is like, you, you, you got, I, I thought that too. I was like, That's that cab I'm ride saying. was mighty low. Bro. I mean, well, that, it was, that, he was in the West Village. No, but North. they traveled a, a, a bit it of a way. It was back in the day. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was like a, show how how cheap New York was back in the day. Yeah, inflation is yeah, really That like was like a six dollar cab ride. I'm like, they went kind of they went far. Far. I'm like, cabs outside start at four dollars. Bro, they started at <laughs> yeah, now. I'm like, well, yeah, I'm saying, yeah. I'm not saying, <laughs> yeah. half big is what, 20? Yo, that old? meter yeah, is hilarious. But I always It made me feel like, you imagine being in a club and you could see everyone's, like, meter next I to wish. them. That's, no, a, how, that's a dark, that's how, a, that's a dark black, place to be in. That's a black mirror episode. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a dark thing to see. <laughs> Like, You're like, oh, like, draw the brokes in the side. Yeah. Hey, draw the brokes. Well, it's like you, you just separate the drinks. Right. If they yeah, want you got to go to that table. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stay over there. Yeah. yeah. The one thing line worse the than being broke is people knowing that you're broke. <laughs> right? So, like, yo. Yeah. Here, go, here come James. Mm. <laughs> if, if it turns into some, like, there's going to be some metaverse shit. Oh, bro. James. Yo. Oh, fuck. Now we got to buy him drinks. Here comes James. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's yo. Gonna, Every day. It's some metaverse yeah. here, bro. Like when you go to the metaverse club <laughs> and you're trying to get your metaverse bottles on, please. There's gonna be a little thing on top of your head, like, please. This nigga yeah. has seven cents. This <laughs> nigga, no, this <laughs> nigga balling at all. <laughs> but no, but you know, that's going no. that's going to be terrible on dates. Like, oh, but this nigga ain't shit. But then, <laughs> like, but what if you can see the girls bounce to it? It's like, well, you ain't shit either. We we ex we don't <laughs> expect women to be paying money. It, you know? I, no, no. All right, so the women of the women nowadays, like these niggas carry. They carry Duckets, They got yeah. bags. Yeah. They got buckets. They got everything. But it's just funny to see how people be out and people, you know, on social media, whatever the case is. Let me preface this before you finish. We're not gonna turn into podcast Negroes with this topic, okay? We're what? not gonna say we're not gonna say men don't want to be with women. Oh <laughs> no, my no, 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 no. I wasn't. I, I was saying it about him. both. It's exactly. just like you, like people just go out and do things off of perception, whatever. But I think a lot of this shit is based off adrenaline. Like, let me see how far I can get. Well, when without. you're broke, yeah, mm -hmm. when you're broke. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you're broke, a, there is a little bit of a thrill to being broke. Let me see how it far. You, it doesn't make you And that's and that's men and women. Yeah, yeah. So this is not this is men and women. Let me my, see how far I can go. My yeah. most low, what's, creative because I've done that. You about yeah. to say yours? About to, well, low. Do I've, no, I've done that. No, what's your brokest story? Oh, the brokest thing I've done. <laughs> 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 this is very good. So I, so I. So I went to a bar. I don't even want to hear that. I was like, so, like, this so is bad. pitiful. No. I went to a bar, right? This is a bar I know that this is exactly what I'm going to spend. Mm. Like, I know, like, the yeah, meal yeah, I want to yeah. get, boom, it's going to cost this much, right? Mm. And I had, the bartender had gave me, like, an extra drink. So was I was, that the bartender? No, no, no. Oh. <laughs> I know. Because I would have got the whole thing for free. Um, wow. I was just like, so I was a little drunk. So I was like, then I had, like, my sweet tooth hit, mm -hmm. right? So, 
How you going? How, how you going? How you going to pay for the sweet tooth? You can't be broke asking for a sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I said, I said, it's our privileges you don't have when you're, you're broke. broke. I said, no, no, you eating nothing but plain. No, listen, listen. Yeah, that, I love, that luxury is gone. Some snacks from the bodega. I said it. I said it hit. I said it hit. Okay. So now I'm just like Ben Kelly said, "Nigga, what?" <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm like, the I'm like, I'm like, how can I finesse this? How can I? How can I actually finesse? This? Right. Yo. So the bartender at the spot was new. Okay. So I told her, I'm like, "Hey, um, you know, today's a little, a little down for me." Mm. She's like, "What happened? What's wrong?" I'm like. You know, today's my birthday, and like my friends were out of town. Oh, you gave her a sob? <laughs> oh no! Story? Pitiful. At the bu- oh my god! Okay, continue. and bro, continue. well, that's what we're there he for. He did say. He did say. The bro- bartenders are there to hear he sob say stories. All the time. I said, I, I'm giving. <laughs> you, I'm giving you the pre. <laughs> okay, please, please. Let's like, she was like, she was like, no one's here for your birthday. I was like, yeah, you know, you know, my dad's in, you know, he's in Maryland, and um, my friends are out of town for work, and you know. <laughs> I'm single, so like I don't really, you know, I'm just like kind of by myself right now. I just took myself out. For my a girlfriend just broke up with me. It's crazy. I didn't, I didn't go that far. I didn't go that far. I was oh, like, that's too far. Yes, yeah, far. That's too far. <laughs> that's where we like, draw the line. No. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm broke, but forget that bitch. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, that's where we draw the line. Like, yeah, you know, I'm single, and I'm uh, just, you know, I'm just, you know, I just wanted to come get, you know, my favorite sandwich and just, you know, kind of celebrate. She was like, mm. oh my god, like I'm so sorry, like. Mm. You know, is there anything I could do? And I'm like, you know, I really yeah, I want that cake. <laughs> that, I was like, I was like, yo, I'm, that chocolate cake on the menu. I was like, I really love the cheesecake here, but it's like, you know, I don't really have enough. I don't get paid till X, Y, and Z. She's like, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I got you. Oh, brought the cheesecake out with a candle. Well, that's a night. Oh, don't you feel like an that's asshole? Pleasant story. Definitely do, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very pleasant story. That's, that's, a, bro- that's a broke. That's thing. a pleasant broke story. Yeah, yeah, that's a broke. I respect thing. that. Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, first I, off, you so far in, in the broke awards. Uh, y'all both tied right now. I gotta hear. <laughs> well, nah, here, go ahead. The brokey award. Yeah, like, come on. What's the brokey? The brokey. <laughs> the the one brokey. thing that's worse than being broke. Is owing money. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ooh. I got a third. Owing money is worse. Than I got being a broke. second, think, third, and fourth story with that. I've been broke and happy. Would you in yeah, debt? Woo. Oh yeah, in debt. Anyway, yeah. so I was Show, saying, you funny. <laughs> you funny. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what? You funny. What's worse than funny. being broke? You owing funny. money and Anywho. being broke. You always know how to tie your. <laughs> you are good at what you do. Anywho. <laughs> I was going to an event that I will leave the name out of to protect the innocent. Mm. I was going somewhere. I was with you. You might have been. This is a minute ago. This is this had to be like some music industry or like yeah. This is like some industry. It was like 2011, whatever. I don't even remember whose listening party it was, but whatever. So when you broke and you in the music industry, the listening party is the haven. Right, that's where you. That's where you. That's where you can go get your drink on. They gonna have some finger foods or the the, like the listening party dinners. The the, oh, the listening party dinners. I was eating lovely. I I went to Ocean Prime last week. (laughs) I went to Ocean Prime last week for the first time. What? Never even knew that shit existed. Hey, bro, listen. Had myself a filet mignon. Meeting <laughs> some calamari, Yo. seven Jameson. Yo, listen, and heard some fire ass music from listen. a nigga from Detroit. I th- I forgot his name was Chanel. Thank you for inviting me. Bro. <laughs> I was, I was I, a great night. I just ate some delicious meals off of some brand new artists, Yo. bro. I, was like, I don't know who this guy is, but this is good. They are delicious. So at this particular listening party. I'm thinking, you know, I ain't got no real money, but you know, I could hit the, I could see some folks, grab a drink, yeah, yeah, yeah. finger food, kick it with us. I must have had get like four twenty five in oh, my four, account. Oh, like oh, four dollars, four dollars and twenty five oh, okay. cents. Damn. So I'm Chicken thinking, real? you know what? Yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, bro. No money, no. like oh, you know, I, I, know. I ain't tipping no bartenders. I'm like, all right, you know, here, here, here. All right, I'll catch you later. And then we out, and it, I'm, I'm, a, I'm amongst a group of. I would say influential people, yeah. you know, at that time. Yeah. And you hear the dreaded thing that nobody wants to hear when you broke. Well, Let's keep this party going. Ah. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say, how we how splitting this? I thought you were going to say, how we splitting this? God damn. But wait, I know there's, there's more. more. <laughs> I know how to get out of those, but keep going. So, splitting this with good spirit. This is young cat. I haven't accomplished nothing yet. I'm still just a. 
right at the Source magazine, grinding. And right. on the wheels. Right. Yeah, just, just, just going. Moving. Just moving. So I'm just like, you know what? I went to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> Did went you to leave my out phone the window, app. Bro? Went to my Bank of America app. I was like, do I have overdraft protection? <laughs> I was like, yes, I do. I bet. Uh, how much money I got? It's like four twenty. What the fuck were you going to accomplish with that? So I was like, with overdraft protection. This is a mastermind move. Right? <laughs> you see it's what I'm like? Yes, I do. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait, did you just say Bank of America? Hold on, wait a minute. I think I know where you're going. It's overdraft swipe. protection still got it. Yep. The past twelve years, right? Yep. So, <laughs> I'm in there, and I don't, uh, we're just like, yo, we have. I forgot where we went to. We went to some spot. We was in time. This is after y'all left. This is after initial spot. I'm thinking we're just gonna keep moving, walking, like probably dropping a bar or something. Yeah. Get some shots. Someone's gonna cover the rounds. Right. I'll take my shot. Someone's <laughs> gonna be like, oh. Like, oh, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> this is on me. Next oh. one's on you. Uh, okay. Not tonight. Not tonight. This is the night. Everyone decides, oh, we're gonna go to this fucking steakhouse over here. I'm still holding that's, out hope. That's your fault. I'm still holding. That's, that's your went, fault. Yeah. That's your I fault. I went away. You gotta. You gotta. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, gotta, you gotta know when to yeah, bail, you gotta, bro. Yeah. You gotta Not dip saying out. you're wrong, guys. <laughs> yeah. I would have been like, yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. Okay, so, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, like uh, in the morning. And like, that's I, when I'm you out. hit. Back that's when you hit. Low. That's when you hit Continental. Right. Or the deli. Or the deli. Oh, God bless Continental, man. No, don't. Fuck Continental. But that's when you hit. Continental. Right. Terrible drinks, but if you. Five Ooh. shots for ten dollars. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Gas. Yeah. Is that what you ordered? Yes. No. Yeah. Like it was like twenty shots for like it's basically five um, shots yeah. for ten dollars. They yeah, basically exactly. give you unleaded fuel for ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah. so they turn racist. That was a fire ass spot. Yes. But, anyway, so tremendous. I didn't. I didn't. Tremendous. I couldn't. I didn't find like the bailout moment. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yes, you're right. I should have bailed out. I should have bailed out. Right. 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 But. I thought we were just going to keep, you know, the party going. I didn't know we was going to sit down. No, you thought thing. somebody was going to drop that card. So I'm just like, that's, yeah, what, you, that's, that's what you thought. thought. Yeah. Folks, folks got the, you thought the somebody, card. Yeah, yeah. Like, you like, thought somebody, yeah, yeah. He's like, yo, somebody expressed this. It's on Atlantic Records tonight. It's you a, thought somebody was going to break that shit off. No. no. Mm-mm. Then we get there. We all eat real good. What, what restaurant you go to? Real what, good. Do you remember the oh God, if I'm right, I, I don't. Yo, think we the want place details. Is open no, because <laughs> I'm yeah. yeah. I don't even know if the place is open anymore. Right, but right. it was it was somewhere on 52nd Street, like right well, past. Like, there's a bunch of steakhouses. Open. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it was one of them spots. Okay. Not like not like a Peter Luger's or some mm. shit. But it was a solid. It was a, it was a good place to solid, get a good a solid steakhouse. Spot. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, all right, this is all on somebody's credit card, and everybody's ordering. I'm thinking, you know, we just had drinks and meals. I'm sure we're gonna get something. Else. Nope. Everyone's like. Filet here, chicken here, steak here. I'm not going to be the idiot ordering it? French fries. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> steak me. <laughs> right? He's going to be that Ooh. guy. I only good. had the water. And the- um, this is that I've been the there. And, and then what happened? Because I know where this story is going. And that check it. came, bro. And what they say? So all right, y'all, everybody going to throw in their car, throw in their car, throw in their car. I was like, fuck. Uh, all right, I'm going I'm to throw in my car. I'm a- <laughs> you know how to bulletproof this plan? So I'm like, <sighs> Hold on. Just keep no, no. Just you know how to bulletproof this plan? How to do it? The, the bulletproof is this. <laughs> <laughs> this is some, some brokey shit. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm, assume, to the I'm assuming this is how it ended for me. No, this, I, this is, no, no. This is, I took, this is long story short. Hold I, on, I, I love took the overdraft. Yeah. I was just like, I was oh like, no, yeah, okay, yeah. So you like, are, well, you already protected yourself with it. I was, it was like a fifty dollar meal, but like it ended up round up to like two fifty with all the fees and shit. So I'm like oh, negative. Yeah. And now I'm like twenty something years old, so I'm super broke. Mm. This, is, this, is how, this is how you bulletproof a plan yeah. like that. Mm. Like when niggas like, yo, come on, yo, we about to go out to eat, we about mm-hmm. to like continue this whole shit, da da da. All you gotta say is, yo, you know, I ain't got it right now, so like I'm a, I'm gonna head to the crib. Can't do that. Yo, nah, yo, I yo, got yo, you. Bro, I got you. Like, we yeah. Out, like, yeah. 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 Bulletproof. And it's there like, yo, is gonna be that. I pulled like, that nah, many times. I, nigga, I pulled fine those. Fine line. Fine line. If I, I get it. I if get I'm it. amongst if I'm amongst folks that I don't mind yeah. paying for me, yeah, of course. But these people that I were with, like I said, they were some influential folks. I'm not ashamed to admit it. I was trying to look more popping than you, I was. You're trying to look the part. Uh, yeah. I was trying to and look the part. That shit cost you $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252. $252.
That's why he has. Bro, a, you know that's what? why his bubbles are green now. Yo. Is that why? Yeah. Yeah. He said, "You know what? I I turned into <laughs> osmosis out there." <laughs> I like See, that. Bobo, I feel like we're giving up a lot of like our brokey secrets. Right now. Yo, listen. <laughs> Every every man listens to this needs a little brokey secret, all right? Oh, yeah, do the hokey brokey. Turn I yourself used to, around. I used to. Luckily, I'm eating wait, wait, wait. Good now. Hold on. Let me, <laughs> let me tell you the brokest thing. I'm, oh, yeah, you know. Oh, yeah, Rosie, yeah. Mine is very short. <laughs> I'm always yeah. intrigued on broke women's stories. No, mine is so short and simple. Have you ever, what's the, the lowest amount of gas that you've put in your car? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Two dollars. I put five on it. I, I put, put two dollars. I put about I put like one seventy three. No, no, I put no. I, put, no, I, I honestly, swear to God. What did the car got, burp when no. you were done? <laughs> <laughs> no, like it was. I was, I was yeah. down the street from my house, that's and I gathered the all the change. Because yeah. you know, you know when you're like right out of high school, you got like just loose change, change in the car. Yep. Yeah. I gathered yeah. all my change. I was like, what? <laughs> no, yo, two dollars. Yeah, two dollars. Yo, the most embarrassing shit was paying for that. Like I could trip on the street and get two dollars. I was like, not for nothing. I was like. I, yeah, gotta know, I gotta know how long ago this was. Cause this was like I was in Raleigh. How, how much? How much? Well, she like, don't oh, know okay, oh yeah, the gas prices were not like it is right now. Like, right no. Now, like six. no, 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 no. They okay. were like probably like two still, two mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. But still, it was just like the ga- the cashier looked at me like I was wild. I was like, bro, just just do it, bro. Just, <laughs> just I, I don't know where it, it just got me home, and that's all I needed. Bro. <laughs> and you know what? You're still irresponsible too, because like you'll pay for that. You're still trying to ride around. Like, <laughs> bro, like, like bitch, you you're home. on E. When, when I'll the, get you home. It, it, it went from I'm red E to like I'm surprised it got out of the parking e. lot, though. <laughs> just, <laughs> ass. No, it went from red E to just regular. Listen, there was a time when that little centimeter on the gas tank. It means a lot. Well, get you somewhere. But all right, that's a trip. That's a trip. Like it ain't gonna break down. I'm making it. I went, the, I went to the gas attendant. I said two <laughs> on three. <laughs> Less than the bro. He looked at me, looked at my card, <laughs> looked at me, <laughs> and then looked back at my card. Like I felt like there was so much shit he was saying to me Yo. without saying it. Yo. I came up with change. I was like a privileged crackhead because I had a problem. Uh, Rosie, you would have got further doing <laughs> the Mad Max, just blowing the gas into the thing. To get you like, imagine. I was like a fucking crackhead that had a vehicle. <laughs> you would have got so much further. <laughs> just imagine charging home, bro, two dollars on your debit card. Like niggas oh, looked at me gosh. like. I feel like he wanted to be like you, dead ass. <laughs> Yo, the dude looked at me. I was like, and I'm like, sir, yes. Yo, I need to get home. I was I like, he, I gave him change, pennies. I was like, there's please. something about like giving someone your card when you're broke that makes you feel less broke. There's some like because it's like here, 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 if take you're it. scrounging the change like Rosie over here, like that's all uh, right. Oh, yeah, well. you're, 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 you're a homeless man on 34th. That like, yeah. That's what they thought I was. They were like, like, where yeah, this crack like, get this car the from? Salvation <laughs> Army's down the street. Like if you need a warm meal, if, like, uh, if, I, if I pull my card out and car, I got two dollars on it. Yo, so I was fresh out of high that's some, school. That's some ball of shit right there. Yeah. That's was, some ball of shit. I was Hold fresh out of high school. I didn't have a debit card. Listen, I didn't have a debit card. Table. I had to get the change in the car and be like, all right, this is what I got. <laughs> you know, because like, you know why? Because they can see how broke you are. Yes. When you throw the plastic down, you can't see how you can broke see, you can't talk to You can yeah, see the yeah, broke. You can't. Yo, okay. You can see the broke from feet up. away. You, you hear the change <laughs> in the you floor. Can smell, you can see you smell it. it. There's a sound effect to the Bills brokenness. Everyone. I know. I handed it to him like this. Uh, it was like, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know the couple pennies that this. still are in your head, like stuck to you. The PSA, the PSA, head, you the PSA like to here. this segment is don't afraid to be broke because you'll never be there. You you won't always be broke. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Well, I have a question. There's I have a only question. you up from there. Yeah. I only, have a question. You can only go up from there. I have yeah. a question for all of you now that we're on this topic. What's your worst... Sorry, your card was declined. Story. No, we already went. We this. spoke about that. We, we had an episode about, about this. We spoke, this is yeah, before you joined the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Laura had a whole spiel. We spoke about this. About getting What declined. was your most embarrassing one? That one. I've had a couple. I had one. <laughs> that one, like the one we spoke about? But then about? there's, I've no, because there's elements to it. There's like, no, no, the, no. the money's really not there or sometimes they fuck up. Well, that goes with And then that, there, there's no, that guy no, that shows you the no, bank account. That, like, that I have money in my account. I'm like, yeah, That goes to his story about knowing the money wasn't there, but he still did the ballerific shit. Mm-hmm. My the story was the <laughs> money was there, but I kind of ex- you, you splurged I a little bit too much. My, my, I exceeded <laughs> my means. That's what happened. So it wasn't there. No, it was there, but Not I enough. Cost that no, I, no. I think what happened was uh, T Bank saw so many charges, and they were like, and they blocked your. Card. Yeah, they yeah. were like, hold on, stop. Mm. So what I was when I was what I was ordering was at the Anthony. Um, the so money. Was me? The, no, it wasn't you. Definitely wasn't you. Uh, the money was there, but they were just like, yo, 
knock it off. Yeah. She like, said, stop. And she said, quote, unquote, Chill. live between the your means. All right, so, <laughs> sorry, so just to give you preference, and people that are me. just checking in now, we told the story way back when, when mm-hmm. we were on the porch at his, at his, his old crib. Mm-hmm. So I was at the I was at uh, the Anthony, right? So it was like me, I think it was um, a bunch of like two, two or three of my friends, right? And I just caught a check. Like, I just caught a big check. So I'm like, fuck it, we out. It's like a Monday. Let's go out. Let's let's party up, right? It's a bunch of bunch of chicks, like bunch of chicks on our section, and we just having a good gr- a great time. So I asked the waitress, I'm like, yo, how much a, a bottle of Ace? She said, oh right. no, no, hold on. She said, like, oh, that's why. That's why I saw that's, it. That's only five. No, that's why I saw it. I didn't know like, a bottle of Ace. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. I, I told you. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. started. He started. Okay. I started yeah, 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 there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, she back. told me the price. I was like, okay. I had, to, I had to dumb down my excitement. Mm. <laughs> so I was like, I'll say, how much is Duce? She was like, oh, it's like 275, 300. I'm like, all right, cool, bet. Bring me a bottle of Duce. So I gave her my car. She's like, all right, cool. Do you want anything else? I'm like, nah, it's just a bucket of ice and some lemonade. She was like, all right, bet. I'll be right back. So it's packed. Like, people that we know, that people. We Can I say with. something? What? When was it a credit card or a debit card? Debit card. So what happens is when you go to clubs and bars and you give your card, they some places swipe it first and they like pre-authorize the amount. Mm. So then they do it again when they close you out. So it holds the first amount, Mm -hmm. and then you go back and it holds it again every time they swipe it it until the last. Yeah, but she she didn't break down the process, so I'm no. Because sometimes in the morning you'll see eight charges and you're like, but they drop. Yeah, so Mm. you would know. But if you don't have an amount times ten, just don't. So I had the amount like. (laughs) Even, even if they did the double swipe, I had the amount to cover it, right? right. So, She goes, I don't see no sparklers. I'm just like, hold on. <laughs> 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 like, why is she coming back no, without, without I what I, is there bu- a lonelier feeling? <laughs> I'm like, I don't see a bucket. I don't uh, see no handing ice. a waitress your card, yeah. expecting sparklers, <laughs> and that same waitress coming back. So with all right, the same card. If you're a fan of, no if you're a fan of say less, you see it coming. You're like. Ooh, right. Shit. If you're, you're like a fan of Say Less and Kaz, you know this story. I'm just like, I'm speaking it for Rosie and people that ju- are just tuning in. So I see her walking back mm-hmm. with the like the little checkbook thing. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm like all right. Uh, so she comes back. She's like, hey, come here. Are you quietly in your head like, bust a left, bust a left, bust a left, bust a left? No, like, I'm right. I'll I'm meet a, you at the exit sign, bitch. God damn, I'm don't do it here. too many people. Uh, so I can't even get out. Like, I'm standing on the couch because at that moment, I'm like, yeah, nigga, we out here. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the couch. <laughs> so I can't even get away. And guess what we're doing? So she comes in. Here. She comes in. She comes, like, she comes directly to me. She says, <laughs> she said, we are not like, out she's here. She's like, it didn't go through. <laughs> So now, at least she whispered it. No, she didn't. A bitch like me would have been like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey. I've seen you with an accent. Hey, <laughs> like, hey like, your shit don't work. Hey, hey you in the red hat? Yeah. yeah. You ain't got no money. She's busted. <laughs> so I'm like, why so you I'm pay like, you with no money? So I'm drunk at this point, and I'm just like, Nah, I got it. Mm. Right, I'm making a scene. So I'm like, here. <laughs> my phone, like, I'm showing her the amount. I, got I it. hate you. I so, hate those so, type of so people now, at the so bar. She's like, all right, I'm going to go try it again, right? So she goes back, and it works. So I'm like, oh, nigga, we out here. <laughs> I told you yo, I, I had out it. Here, yo, yo, I told you I, I told you had out here, I dance. told you I had it. Yo, and it's, thought it, I was yo, playing. It's bitches around us. I'm pouring up shots, <laughs> right? So she put the bottle down. She gave me my card. <laughs> but then at this point. They got bottles. But then, I, got I got bottles. At this point. Look, Cass. I got bottles. Cass. At this point. You got bottles. I got bitches. At this point. You got animals. I got I got sparklers. <laughs> Yo, at this point, his car was declined once, so the waitress, they didn't want a waitress for him no more. She just, she just put the bottle. So, no, she said, I'm no, no, not no, giving no. it over to so, him. So, yo, bro, like, I know just I get no pour your own bro. shit. Oh, 
she puts the bottle down. With yeah, because she thought, yeah, she was tight. She's like, this like, broke yeah, motherfucker mother. here, man. And he ain't gonna tip me. Yo, so then she grabs me by my hoodie. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. What waitress was Whoa, that? Whoa, you got yoked up? She didn't. She didn't yoke me. Oh, like, but I was in. I was. Like, I was, listen, was bro, it little Chris? Caress, like it, was, a, it was. It was one of those. I was was in, it little Chris? Like, come here, nah, sweetie. Nah. Oh. I was in the nigga mode, so I'm like. <laughs> 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 she was like, she was like let me like, humble she you. Like, she's like, come here. <laughs> I'm like, what's up, baby? <laughs> what's up, baby? What's up, baby? <laughs> what's up, baby? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she said, no. <laughs> <laughs> she and was you can't like, take me out to dinner either. She was no, like, she was no. like, thank, because I tipped her. She was like, thank you for the tip, but. Party within your means. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not get elected by the bottle girl, bro. <laughs> She's like the opposite Lit of Drake. <laughs> she oh, tells dudes in the section, save your money. Save your <laughs> Don't money. spend it on here. Party within your means, my nigga. I never, I didn't look at I a know bottle. You have rent. I didn't look at a bottle for like. The first here? is coming up. Why yeah. are you here? I didn't look at a bottle for six months. <laughs> I'm like I never like I didn't want to go to a club. I'm like yo, bro, that hits you. Mm -hmm. It's traumatizing. That hits you. Mm -hmm. bro. It's traumatizing. Like even though if you got it, that shit hits you. Especially like the club you're probably at. Like I know there's this. It was the Anthony. Oh, yo, Anthony. Was, I, that's why I thought it was me. The I was Anthony, like, no, 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 yeah. Anthony's heyday had anybody you could think of coming through that. And it's not no big. It was like with Drake, Meek. Everybody. Uh, right. Harden. And it's not no all, big, all super fancy spot, but you know it's an intimate spot. It's so spot, like yeah, it's like I'm here. Drake is where Wolf is at. Meek is where Sam is at. Like, not no. far at all. Yeah. But and to just... say all that, like, with, with, <laughs> it was a small place. But with all those people coming through, all the cars that were getting denied, there's different types of people that handle that differently. Mm. So there's the use that be like, look how much I got in my account. It's in there. <laughs> well, no, like, I wasn't there. Then there's the, 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 the ones that look at you, it. they look down at their phone and be like, let me call the bank. Like, oh, and, oh, and they I, do the I, shameful yo, I, oh, walk no, I away. Left that, I left that part out. I had to like, go outside and talk to CD Bank for 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's I had, levels. I had to clear those charges. There's levels of like, your card was declined. Mm -mm -mm. But I like again, like the story I told before when we, you know, it was me and you. I she handled that shit very well. She didn't make a big deal about it. That's she cool. didn't try to clown. She was Rosa, like, are you Yo. the loud bottle girl? What do you mean? <laughs> like when somebody was declined, you'd be like, hey! Hey! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, you are, nigga. <laughs> at the bar, if I if I was ever waitressing, I wouldn't do that. But at the bar, I was very much like that. Cause at the bar, people demand shit from you. Mm. So it's kind of yeah. it's kind of it's, it's it feels a lot, good. It's a lot more chaotic, it feels good. Isn't it? They yeah, demand shit. Movement. I'm just like, actually, broke motherfucker. <laughs> Stop talking to me crazy, cause you ain't even got money to pay for this. Yeah. Yeah, when you're when you're a bottle girl or waitress or a bartender, like your personality and patience has to be on a thousand. Yeah, because that's where yeah. you get your tips. Yeah, that's why we get no, drunk. No, I understand that though, yeah. but like I, I I think I'm like kind of like focusing on the patience part. Mm. Because you have these drunk people. It's late. And it's late. And I'm people, sure some of them got day a, jobs. Yeah. There's a lot going on. There's a lot going all, like, on. Constantly. People are like demanding. People are like asking. I know how you are. You like, your patience is very fucking thin. Sometimes. But even working in that establishment or in that environment, I can yeah. it, probably like it's even higher. I've never been a bottle girl, but <laughs> shockingly. <laughs> shockingly. Well, I, my patience would be very thin for Negroes. Yeah, yeah. Especially. Yeah. My world. patience is thin for y'all, so imagine yeah. me working mm. around the yeah. They don't come with the best uh, manners to the club. I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, no, I they don't. So, I remember so yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well. I had a broke on the road story. Ooh, ooh. That shit is scary. Wait, on oh, the road broke for on the road? WWE? WWE or or on the, 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 no, no. It was like indies. Like the whole... 2010, okay. 11. Okay. So I used my mom's car to drive to Rhode Island for a show, and it was like a seventy-five dollar payout. Okay. To me, that's big. A month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to me, at that like time, that's that a big fucking deal. Okay. So I only had like my my the mother of my child gave me like fifty bucks to get there. I was like, okay, bet. So Damn, 50 bucks. you already now the payout's thirty five. Yeah, so I'm already like, uh, yeah. <laughs> now it's a thirty five dollar show. Yeah. Already Damn. <laughs> but yeah, so. It was like no was, Burger King. Bro, so my nigga. <laughs> nothing. Twenty I, I didn't eat till I got to the venue, and that's a seven-hour drive. Dang so I'm going from like Lancaster, Pennsylvania, all the way to Rhode Island. So getting to around like New York, Jersey area, um, my phone dies. It's starting to die. It's like nine percent. Uh -huh. It's getting there, and there's no phone charger in the car. It's like an older car. Uh -oh. So I stop at a gas station, and I'm like, "Hey, my man, can I get to a pen paper?" I write down the rest of the directions. Off GPS, go 20, 30 minutes, phone dies. I'm like, okay, so I have to hit these GPS oh my God, coordinates man. right on point because I'm also low on gas. Oh, so oh, I have this is like has to be 100% accurate. 
accuracy. Because if you miss it, that if I miss yeah, one turn, yeah, you're done. I'm done. That's gas <laughs> I'm done. Like, like, like it's not like the line. GPS like research. Like no, yeah. this is paper. This is like <laughs> map quest. We're on map quest mode yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so, print out the directions. That, yeah. that type of shit. Yeah. So I'm like getting there. I'm like, okay. I'm like kind of like going a little slow. I'm like, okay, this is the right direction. This street. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Making all the right turns. I can't get pulled over. I can't. I can't have no errors right now. Uh. I, my gas light comes on. Boom. Okay. Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is the last, this is the final stretch. I'm like, I'm like three miles away and I'm just like getting there. I'm like making all the right turns. This is Rhode Island. I don't know anybody. So uh-huh. if I'm break, I'm dust yeah. right now. So I'm like finally get there, pull, o- pull up to the venue. And I just like the gas light comes on, like Ooh. the gas light's on, pull up to the venue. I just like, whew, stop. And I just <laughs> relax <laughs> wow. and lay back. Cause I'm like, I made it. Now I can, all I, now all I got to do is think about just wrestling. There's there's a there's match. a forty year old or fifty year old person listening to this podcast right now, that's like, this motherfucker's mad because he's using a map. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, that's all we use. That's that's all all we had. Had. Right, I used a stage and buggy. <laughs> like, remember we used to print out yeah. map quest directions. Oh, like, that would have been fun if I had gas money, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, I like I had nothing. Like, Great. this had to work, and then like finally, Yo, the match got paid, and that, then came back. What brings you more anxiety page. than that gaslight? Huh? Ooh. What brings you more anxiety than I think that a dead cell phone scares the, me more than a gaslight. Something that brings you more anxiety than a gaslight is after having raw sex and your girl says, we need to talk. Wow. Wait, what? Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. That was saying more anxiety. <laughs> more anxiety, right? That was very right? specific. Okay. Wow. Jesus, bro. Can we, can we talk about Batman yet? Yeah. I don't <laughs> Batman came out this bucket? week. Yeah. Speaking of uh, condoms, <laughs> Batman suit looks no, like a condom, no? Sam <laughs> like, Sam Talking about low, you okay? He said, no, right? no. He said what brings more anxiety than Lowe's the gaslight. Okay? I didn't say that. Oh, my man said no, that. No, no, no. He said what brings more anxiety than the gaslight. And I said, when you have raw sex with whoever. Well, why'd know, you whoever, take it there? That's you said more anxiety. because that, that. I the, feel like at a certain age, but I feel like I was baby scares you to keep anxiety. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying anxiety, period. I'm not saying right now for me. Like, uh, I mean, I was just saying, like, anxiety, like, like do, do you need to tell us something, low? No, I'm, 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 I'm not saying, like, no is everything... No one's pregnant? Like, I'm good. Yeah. Okay. So now y'all making a thing. Right? I mean... Sam, I, mean, I need you, like, sometimes I need you to just, like, chime you in. Kind of Why? Like, 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 come on. Like, help me. Help me. Yeah, like, help help me. me. I, they ask what brings more anxiety. Yo, Wolf, they ask what brings more anxiety. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Hey, 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 Thank it's you. That's all I was saying. <laughs> no, that, now you're getting the pity ones. Like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. anxiety. Next. Yeah, that's anxiety, <laughs> like a motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go too extreme. My bad. <laughs> boy, oh boy. So you want to talk? Ahead, you want to talk about Batman? Batman but yeah. I haven't. I don't think. I haven't seen it. Anyone I haven't seen, seen Batman. I haven't I'm the only one. You've seen Batman. I think so. But I've seen. I don't go off my opinion. I heard it was trash. What? I, I wouldn't say it's trash. I heard it was great. I, I, I'm, not, I'm just going off of what I've seen. I wouldn't say it's trash. I've heard the complete opposite. I heard it I've been hearing amazing. It's amazing. Like, oh, yeah, it's getting 85 percent on Rotten Tomatoes mm-hmm. by critics and stuff. I think fans are like 80. And Batman is such a hard character to get right now. When you do a three-hour movie, yes, it's yeah. very yeah. difficult. <laughs> Doing it. Who's Batman? Like what? Are they, like, Robert, Robert Pattinson. Pattinson right? He was the vampire in Twilight. I remember. And a bunch of other stuff. What are they trying to prove? Why is he Batman? Are they? He's consistently saving the. But why is he Batman? This was like more the noir Why do as- they want aspect. This tall, Batman. Skinny Batman. So guy. from what I'm hearing, because I haven't seen the movie yet. If I more- called Batman and Robert Pattinson showed up. I mean, apparently he tight. pulled it off. I like that he, play, he plays the a suit. younger Batman. The he's a, he was a good, vampire. He's what? Good. Sam, what does that have to do with Bro, being not, Batman? Not, it's not like it's he not like a vampire. vampire. Bat- hold on, Great. you're Batman. Hold on. It's not like if you. It's not like it's not like if you call Batman. And you're like, you don't that, call Batman. Is, is that Robert Pattinson? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's not how it works. That's how it would work for me. I would have twice in my heart. Edward, 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 get the fuck out of here. That's get out of here, Edward. You're getting choked up by the robber. It's like, Tony, get to take that mask off, Tony. Like, is this the dude from Doom? You're still a fucking vampire. Are you still being a vampire under there, Edward? Come on. That's not how it works. No, like, Rosie will have Captain America comes like, it doesn't think Chris. Not another team. Chris. 
Chris, come here, Chris. Evans, come here. Come here, Chris. Take that off. Come here, Chris. Take that but, mask. Uh, apparently, Robert Pattinson plays a younger Batman, kind yeah. of coming into his own. Um, and uh, I've heard nothing but incredible reviews for the movie. Right. Except. And, um, except who? Suarez review. He said it was, well, he good. Said it was good. I said it's, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great. I think it's a Ooh, solid yeah. film. I think it's a solid film. It's just too long. It's three hours. Mm. Yeah, I, heard it. I will say this is the best looking Gotham City I've ever seen. Everyone told me that it's the Gotham shot City, really well. They, you they, mean New York City? No, no, it this looks like Gotham York, City. But it looks like what Gotham. What is Go Gotham City is New York, right? It's a, it's a, it's, it's like, no, it's actually a Chicago yeah. mixed with a Pittsburgh, mixed yeah, with a yeah, yeah. New York. There's all these elements that make mixed it with a Gotham City. Pittsburgh. Yeah. 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 The, yeah. Fucking, the bridges. <laughs> the bridges. <laughs> like, <laughs> the bridges. The Pittsburgh mentioned in this shit. You see the dog thing? Yeah, I, I have not the, the, but the, the last Batman Rises the last Batman Rises New York field, the like last Batman I've seen was the first one with Michael Keaton wait they had Gotham what, what? Come out. you didn't see Dark Knight uh, you've yeah. never seen the Dark Knight what I've never seen the Dark Knight with you why did you say it like that? No, I, I just, I'm not. You, get a, you can watch it you by accident. You've never like seen Dark Knight? I've never seen The Dark Knight. <laughs> Heath great. Ledger. If you watch basketball, you're watching The Dark Knight yeah. before or after. <laughs> at some like, point. Like, they throw that on before, like, every yeah. TNT. <laughs> huh? I don't know on the correlation. By accident. The one. TNT. Dark Knight. Like, oh, it's TNT. literally deleted so you, or, so, like, the... the so, you've never seen, after. so you've never seen Heath Ledger as a Joker? No. Incredible. What? You've never seen any of these Bane speeches? No. You never what? see Christian Bale. You're, no, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know the Bane with connection. the gravelly voice. I know, I know that, I know that connection. <laughs> Where is it? I will say but this though. Movie. How's the mafia getting the uh, no, drugs? No, no, no. I, 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 in all fairness, Low, I love Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton was it, incredible. That was my. I that's know, like and, the second best Gotham and I, City. No, and I saw the one with the penguin. Yeah, that's, that's Batman two. Returns. Batman Returns. Oh, yeah, right, Batman he, Returns. That was, was that Val Kilmer? For a long yeah. time. No, yeah. not Batman no, Forever is Val Kilmer. Okay. Uh, I saw those first two and that was underrated Batman, by the way. Very underrated Batman. Val Kilmer? Val Kilmer, very underrated. It wasn't DC, though. No. No. It wasn't in the DC Neil, Or George universe. Clooney. No, no. But why the does DC, he talk like this? The DC universe is like Batman. Bat that's the funny thing about this uh, Batman. He doesn't talk like, like this? Like, Pattinson's like... Like he wakes up in the morning, comes to talk to Alfred. Hey, how's it going? What are we doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Batman goes like... Oh, uh, yeah, that's the thing. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> like, so you're not even going to try to just... Bruce, what yeah. are you doing? He's like, <laughs> it's like nigga, is that Bruce? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying. So I've I, never wish, seen... I wish there was real superheroes just so I could do that to there people are. in real life. Yeah. What do you mean they're real superheroes? Yeah. Like, I wish like people would walk around like masked and stuff. Like, I feel like, like they're oh, yeah, like, like going go to Kanye's station. doing it now. What are like we talking a, about? <laughs> like Kanye's doing that shit every week on Sundays, bro. He was a superhero last night. Like, if Swerve, like, if I was getting right, Robbed, right? <laughs> so I got low. Kanye doing it every week. Oh, oh. You see that shit in Miami? Look at that thing. <laughs> Bro brought the Omega verse over here. <laughs> I ain't walking around like a confused Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he's doing. I look like Dark Side right now, bro. No, I swear, you could be a, a low key superhero. Oh, thank you. Like, what I always wanted to be static. Like, what would hair. happen if, like, you you want you walked outside right after we finished taping this podcast, right? right. Okay. Walked outside. Is, um, do you have your little suit in your bag? I wish. Let me finish. Hold on, let, let him finish. finish. I just want to like, know. What would you do if, you, Rosie, you was walking outside? Okay. Walking to the train. But, hey, give me all your money. Ah. And you walk with Swerve, right? Okay. And all of a sudden, you're like, well, oh, my God, what's going on? And then Swerve disappears. <laughs> <laughs> and then he pops back is up. That, is that old, is that old Kevin Hart? Is that old Kevin Hart joke? Like, oh, you just got robbed. I don't know what that is. <laughs> two, black, two shot niggas don't get us home. <laughs> like, Swerve disappears. So Swerve disappears. <laughs> da, 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 da. And then all of a sudden, you see a dude with a mask and dreadlocks and <laughs> gold teeth. And I know it's him. And, he, and he's beating up the robber. What's up, Jordan? You want to just be like, Nigga, is that you? I'm like, no, I'm vengeance. <laughs> like, like, I swear, a, like, where did you go? I would have been like, bro, why did you just beat him up in your regular clothes? The fuck? Like, fuck if I, knew that that I would, Rosie. God. Thanks for all the shit. You that don't mean anything dangerous. fun. Did the that, mask help you fight that's, better? That's <laughs> but yo, as an alter ego, that would be some bullshit to have to deal with. You got to be the pussy all the time. All the time. And he gets the credit? Yes. He knows you? Oh my so god. So she knows me as the weakling that runs no, away. Because every, that is every no, a lot of superheroes are pussy. Like I like like they're all <laughs> yeah. they're, they're egos. No, 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 no. no. Called, you remember what Lowe called me, the yo, alias pussy? Me. He called let alias me. pussy superheroes. <laughs> let me yo, Please let explain that. that. Please let explain me that. let me let me flush it out. Please explain that. <laughs> Like every superhero that we look at, why are they pussy? Are either geeks, nerds, True. or just timid? Yeah. Right. Every Superman, every Batman. What's funny about that? Yeah. yeah look, wouldn't no, it make no, sense? Because no, that's look the. Do you know why that is? Because that's the audience. Do you know why that is? <laughs> 
What? what? Who reads comic books? That's the audience. That's no, the right. Nerd. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, no, that's oh. not true. Because like, oh, no, right. for example, let's look at Beyonce. True. Beyonce versus Beyonce on stage. Two different people. She's not a superhero. Have you seen Beyonce? No, 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 yeah, you're walking into some territory. You yeah. Know. <laughs> walk, walk oh, yeah, I know out. I did my shit last week, but like, you might want to just stop. I was in front right of, yo, No, I, I was going to say just because if you right if now. you watch Beyonce <laughs> interview, she's very shy, reserved, and timid. Then she goes on stage and it's like, who the fuck is this woman? Well, no, an alter ego is a, not, it's, it's a superhero. It's not, it's not really the same. Superhero thing could be an alter like, ego. Look at superheroes, right? Their, their, their character, their persona, their personality, their, their charismatic, all that shit is not what, like, you look at Superman, right? Don't you better be fucking watch what you say about Peter Clark? Parker. You got a problem with Clark? Oh, I thought you were going Spider Man. Never mind. Go no, Superman. I'm All right, go with Superman. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Superman, okay, bye. Uh, Spider Man. All those guys are very just like in their shell. They're quiet, whatever. But yet they could take on the entire world. That's I mean, what that's what superheroes are. All yeah. of them are geeks, nerds, and just like okay. Spider Man takes on. Yeah. New but here's the, that's it. Uh, I feel like if superheroes existed in real life. They'd be like the jocks, wouldn't they? Well, that's no, the, they that's the, that's the no, element of no, the psychology. No, because jocks, yeah, jocks are real life pussy. They act hard, but they're pussy. Yeah, but that's the real, uh, that's the psychology of the alter ego. Because if you watch Kill Bill, when he breaks down to uh, Uma Thurman's character, it's like the superhero, they're, they're, their alter ego isn't the superhero. The superhero power is what they are. What they are, yeah. They, they use the identity to blend it's in with society. Because yeah. that's yeah. how they view us mm. as weak Nerdy, even like with the, quiet with the people. Hey, fuck y'all, superheroes. That's fucked yeah. up. <laughs> even with the Hulk. Mm -hmm. Very smart, kind hearted. He's funny as But that's how he I blends in as yeah. Bruce Banner. <laughs> right. But then now he's one of the most powerful creatures in the like, universe. In the universe. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like their alter ego is not who they are perceived to be. That's that's all I was saying. Mm -hmm. I feel like if superheroes were real, they would be like pussies. Nah, I feel like they'd be like. <laughs> yeah. No, they'd be like the uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Homelander like like, and all them. Yeah, like I feel like they'd be the well, boys. Peacemaker. I feel like they'd be like. No, no. I, I mean would like, want them to be like Peacemaker. I mean, like no, actual people. Why not? No. Don't say you don't like Peacemaker. Yeah. I don't. Because you like have to go sit over there. Peacemaker so seems Steve. like that. That, that no. seems like a more realistic what? superhero to me. Not That's really. Realistic. Like he's just I a feel like the boys. I don't want to I feel like the boys is the most realistic one because there's. Uh, if any, if there were superheroes, they want capitalism on it. They want to make money and profit off of that. You're not just going to get saved for free. But we yeah. didn't bring in the boys because okay. that's real. Too realistic. That's too realistic. Like, they're yeah. not nerds. They're not geeks. They're actual. But neither is people. peacemaker. They're businessmen. No, he's a job. <laughs> that he's a the peacemaker ideology. Is this like is a wrestler too, thing or is it like a John Cena? No, a psychology thing. thing. Oh. Mm. I met Cena. He's cool, but yeah, like Cena cools out. Yeah, but it's like it's 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 too. It's very fabricated. Mm. It's not okay. very. Well, that's your opinion. <laughs> I like Peacemaker. Because you like television, and that's what it's for. I it's like for Peacemaker, and I think if he was real, he'd it's be fucking awesome. It, it's good for television. It's good TV. <laughs> it's it's like, going to, going into like what? Why do? Stupid. Yeah, <laughs> but that goes into what you were talking he about. Said, like, yeah, why do women TV. like these shows? Because it's fabricated. No, no, no. Television. They meant murder right, shows. So, but, right, but, but like this, that's, that's fabricated right. television. No, it's not. Murder shows are real. No, they're not. It's fabricated. Most are real. It's first forty-eight real. No, your nose. But there's fabricated. Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so here's this, right? You got the first Spider-Man movie, not Tom Incredible. Holland. I'm talking about like Toby. Uh, Toby, right? Toby. It'll turn. First thing Toby does falls on, <laughs> runs for the bus. Go, no, he, he he puts on a mask. He goes, becomes a wrestler. Oh yeah, yeah. and he whips some ass, and it kind of makes Macho me think, Man. Like, what? Well, I've got rest his soul. The one and only Macho Man. Bones, 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 really? I'd be like, yeah, Spider-Man movie. Wrestling fans, yeah. he can't understand. <laughs> All right, well, you never seen. Well, you remember that? I remember no, that. Too. I remember him. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was great. Bones, <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> I feel like never yeah. been to a slim gym. Oh, oh, so we're not excited about. Oh him. my god, that's why I'm happy to be here. No, I'm like, like no, 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 no. Yeah, this is Wally Mania. This is gonna be Wally Mania. He'll be in the crowd probably. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Wait, who? Huh? I don't know. Who did you say? What? She said, "Will this, will this be?" No, he's like, "Will Wally be like?" He's dead. No, no, no. She's saying, "Will this be what Wally Mania is?" Yeah, get him out, get him out. Yeah, but you'll love it. Bunch of wrestling guys like, yeah. And me and me were in the corner drinking, like, okay, this is cool. It'll be a fun time, guys. And then while they perform, you'll be like, "Hey, we back." Nah, nigga, I might be on stage hosting with him. Like that's that's my element. Yeah, that's my. That's what I'm supposed to say. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna do we're gonna do something called grab karaoke too. Grab karaoke. Grab. 
Karaoke. Rap. What's that? I'm nervous. Karaoke. It's like it's exactly Who's what grabbing it's like. who? <laughs> don't don't, don't put me in that. It's, don't, don't rap? What's it's trap karaoke. Don't put me in that. But, but with grapplers. What's grapplers? All the wrestlers. Gra- wrestlers. Yeah. So oh, I'm down. Go. Let's go. Hand him a mic. Do it, do we it. do it every year though. Like we had Charlie Caruso, uh, Charlie oh, Arnold. Yeah. She's on uh, ESPN now. Yeah. Charlie. She did uh, Changes by Tupac, nice. which is nice. very I, well I saw, received. I, I like that. That's that great. Like oh, every year awesome. people just, you know, it'd be fun. So I was like, let's just make it a thing. But anyway, this episode of Say Less with Kazo, Key and Rosie is brought to you by Hulu. Celebrating Black History Always. With stories like Woman of the Movement, Snowfall, Atlanta, Grownish, Power, Living Single, the award winning Summer of Soul, Hulu Original Wu Tang and American Saga, and much more, Hulu highlights stories that showcase Black history, past and present. 365 days a year, Hulu subscription required, terms apply. For, uh, I was saying, if superheroes are real, they'd be like, the mixed martial artists of the world, like mm-hmm. the actual athletes. Like I just I just find it weird that like anytime like there's a superhero there, it's not like fucking I don't know, like LeBron James. He's not like, he's not superhero. No, he's not, but it's like if they were real and you saw some big, strong, muscular dude flying through the air and like on his day job, he's just like dunking on people at the age of thirty eight, you'd be like, oh, that's no, he's a, freaking, a little superhuman. He's, no, he's a freaking nature. Yeah, he's probably di- he's probably dialing it back just to stay human, just a little bit. So you, but, think, you, know, so you think he's a think superhero? LeBron's a superhero? No, I'm like, saying if superheroes were they would real, walk amongst the earth like that. They would walk amongst. <laughs> the are, you t- are you taking LeBron or Batman in a fight? In the fight? Oh, Batman. Batman. LeBron. Does Batman have time to prepare? I'm still not completely sure if LeBron can fight. Like, what is Le- yeah. like, what is LeBron's like his secret weapon? Like, yeah. Rogaine? Uh, yeah, like what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, no, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean yo, yo, LeBron. I didn't mean that. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> not, let's, let's not take away the fact that Batman has like what? knows like 647 yeah, like martial has arts. Killed folks. <laughs> I'm pretty sure LeBron hasn't killed anybody. Yeah, before. well, he knows like 600 Fictional. martial arts. And yeah, it's like Batman. Like, I don't murder. <laughs> we can't. I'm not watching Batman. I'm not. You like definitely you should watch Batman. All right, well, it's worth the watch. Movies. It is worth the watch. You should watch The Dark Knight. You guys, you, 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 yeah. yeah. You All could. things considered, alone, you should but, really watch The Dark Knight. No, no, wait, <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm mad about that. For for the Batman, no, though, for the Batman you know movie, mean? the best part, the best character in like acting wise, like character wise, was uh, the Penguin, Colin Farrell. Really, he steals the movie for me. Wow. And I I heard wait in this one, yeah. Colin the, pe- oh, the penguin came back. Yeah, yeah. Colin Farrell plays Batman. From Penguin. what I hear, I don't, no, no spoilers. Now? From what I hear, it's the Penguin and the Riddler. Yeah. From what I hear, is Catwoman yeah. in this like, too? Catwoman also. Catwoman's it's also. Zoe. Zoe. So, all, so everybody from my childhood is, is in this show. Yeah. So, well, except Zoe. Yeah. Riddle, Riddler. Yeah, um, then you got the Valcone family, the uh, Ramo- the uh, Maroni family. Oh, uh, don't tell me too much. Don't tell me too much. Don't tell me too much. I'm just saying the elements that are in there. I might go watch it. Sorry, did you buy him as Batman though? Like, did he seem yeah. heroic? Did you know, he seem heroic? I, what I liked about this, he spends more time in the suit than he does as Bruce Wayne. Good. That's really good for me, especially okay. with movie three hours. Like, if you're watching the Batman, I want to see the Batman. I want to see Bruce, just like Iron Man. I was seeing too much Tony and Robert Downey. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see that. I want to mm-hmm. see the suit. I want to see Iron Man. Sounds like you're a Marvel Avenger hater. No, it sounds like he oh. actually understands film. Oh, Ooh, got him. Ooh. Ooh. Sounds like you understand. Wait, what? Ooh. Ooh. Like Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Marvel? Oh. Sounds like oh. Swerve understands. Oh. What? Oh. Oh. What? I do life. I, it's oh, li- I do life oh, film. You might, as a, have like, you might have like a little, you know, Cisco oh, Ebert Marvel. thing going on. Oh. Everything's saying like negative about our- dude. dude. I do movie reviews every oh, week. Oh, yeah. It's not like he understands film. Boom. I just say Rosie Dawn. I just say Rosie Dawn. I know it's Women's Month. I, forbid. I didn't. I didn't double into that. What do you Bubble. mean, God forbid? What oh, the hey, fuck hey, do you hey, mean? Hey, 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 relax. What do you mean, God forbid? Hey. <laughs> Speaking of reviewing films, go mm. ahead. Right? Yeah, Rosie, that's where you. That's where you were saying. No, no, no. I was just saying. I was, um, I was trying to alley the I reboot. I, 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 I see what you're saying. Oh, yeah, the reboot. Yeah, the reboot, of, um, the reboot. White men can jump. Reboots again. Ooh, overloaded. Shout right out DJ Drama. So I gave it. Shout out DJ Drama. Gave it. Shout out Jack Harlow. Apparently, news came out that Jack Harlow is going to star as Woody Harrelson's character mm-hmm. in the reboot of White Man Can Jump. And right now, today, we're putting it out there. Everyone listen to this. Whoever I don't know what the fuck he's about to say, so you're putting it out there. Is, it, whoever, is there a hashtag yeah, I don't we can yeah, I don't help with this? <laughs> whoever's directing this film, whoever's casting this film. Kenya Burris. It's the person Kenya from Burris Blackish. Is Kenya, oh, oh, we got a one degree of separation. Shout out Wheezy. Okay, Kenya yeah. Burris, yeah, yeah. who is doing White Man Can't Jump. I know you're casting 
somebody for Rosie Perez's character. Oh, yeah. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to. I know you are, Kenya. Okay? Listen, she's been training. <laughs> I got, been, I got roll yo, blades at the that crib. Shit up. Stop bringing that <laughs> shit up, bro. Yeah, she literally says in an Instagram Stop story, like, yo, that shit up, bro. gotta get ready for my white makeup. I gotta get ready for my bro. role. I'm auditioning. Listen, I got the roller blades got, ready. I saw, uh, and you gotta be ready to do Jeopardy and shit. Too. There you yeah, go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Listen, I saw an Instagram video this week of Fez uh, as a waiter oh, in, yeah. in Woodland. In Brooklyn, right? Four years ago. Where was that? In Brooklyn, not that long ago. I'm like, no, oh, but I'm uh, saying where I don't know what uh, Woodland. Like Woodland. It's a very ghetto brunch in Brooklyn. You know, I thought it was ghetto. It's very ghetto. It's very ghetto. Call it active. Woodland is very. <laughs> <it's>, call it <laughs> active. <laughs> I don't call many things ghetto, bro. I'm just so if I'm saying, I'm just saying, saying I'm just, they said he worked at a chicken. I'm saying we gotta watch the verbiage. That's all I'm saying. They said that he worked at a chicken and waffle spot. Just I watch was the verbiage. That's anyway, active. What I meant to say, active. <laughs> active. Anyway, I'll say all that to say. Yeah, go ahead. Watch that video of Fez <laughs> as a waiter cleaning up bussing tables. You mean Rory? Uh, Rory, whatever. Rory. I will Rory bussing tables. Yeah. It can happen. I can see it, yo. Bro. I can see I'm it. Right, so, all right, so getting I back no, in all seriousness. I'm get right. an actual authentic New Yorker, Kenya Barris. Come here. I'm auditioning. In all, in all seriousness about the reboots, and because I... I uh, Let me guess. You don't like it. <laughs> I just know reboots. I just know reboots as being like... I, vo I, vocalize, right I vocalize my, my opinion about this specific film and mm -hmm. Drama Chimed In. Mm -hmm. So I was like... What's Drama say? I was like, why would you? Why would they actually make uh, a reboot of this film? Like, it, it is a classic film. It's a classic film. You don't need to touch. There's no storyline before, or after. It's just boom, it's done. Drama. Um, I had said I was like Jack Harlow. I like the Jack Harlow's expanding his career options and going into like and you know different forms. Of and he is funny, so he has work. personality. He's charismatic. That's dope. And I felt like this is a huge major fail. Of a setup for him as his introduction, yeah, because it's a reboot into acting because it's a reboot. He's chasing, so okay. like, so the expectations are already so high. Yep. So if you don't live up to Woody Harrelson, because he played that character phenomenal, so fucking mm. well. Yes. You know, between him and Wesley Snipes, that dynamic was insane. And Rosie, right. yeah, and Rosie Perez, <laughs> and you. I mean, uh, <laughs> so when you put when you put him into that, and he he got the role off the first audition, mm. which is very fire. And probably after. Probably after uh, the celebrity. Game. I was about to say he can hoop a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah, he and can, he can hoop play. a little bit. I was like, okay. So, yeah. so I don't like a shot for him though. Yeah, yeah. For him ugly, but uh, uh, it was uh, going in. It was going in, right? <laughs> so Travis working. Scott, so that thing is woo. Yeah. yeah. Travis, <laughs> Travis Scott. Wait. Travis Scott. Where is he, like, Jack Harlow? Yeah. Travis Scott and Tory Lanez can't play basketball, but yeah. um. Shout out to Sada, baby. Yeah. Oh, Sada, yeah. he can play. Yeah, he, can, he can play ball. Um. So yeah. So drama was like, yo, I read the script. Um. He was like, it's a different twist. I think you'll enter, you know, I think you'll enjoy this and the third. And I'm like, okay, cool. You might have more insight than I do. But for him as an entry role, mm, yeah, as a big film like that. Is it a big film? White Man it Can't Jump? It's a familiar. That's a familiar, a familiar classical film. film. It's a familiar film. It's let's a not, big film. Let's I think it's a cult following. Can we like let's not clutch our classic. pearls over White Man cult Can't classic, Jump yeah. like it's like The Lion King? or like? It's really good, though. It's, it's a, a really good film. It's, it's a, a cool movie. movie. All right, so you're demeaning it? You're like, I'm you're not downsizing it? Because now I'm like, who's going to be? You can absolutely approve All right, so who plays Wesley Snipes? Who plays Wesley Snipes? That's what I was thinking. Who's who Yeah, who plays Wesley Snipes? Because Jack Harlow as Woody Harrelson is already a bad choice. And don't say Drewski. Anthony Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> From the funny. Minnesota Timberwolves, yeah, you know. Anthony Edwards as Wesley Snipes. That dude is hilarious. He's in the new Rosie, Adam Sandler Rosie. movie. He can jump. He's in. He's mad funny. He's in the new Adam to Sandler you. movie. He's so, old. See how Anthony Hollywood ain't funny as hell. See how Hollywood's Thank going. <laughs> see how Hollywood's going. He's going to really be like hoop. Damson Idris or freaking. Yeah, uh, oh, Damson, yeah, probably. He'd be one or like Abdul Mateen the second. He'll go. But, but is Damson Idris? He, I don't even know. How to say is he funny? I've never seen I've never him seen be anything, anything, never seen funny, anything funny, other than Franklin. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But like, seeing how Hollywood is going, I've seen him in Isn't he playing Rich Paul? He's a, playing Rich Paul in the, in the biopic. Oh, wait, why, does, why, does, why, why does Rich Paul need a biopic right now? Oh, he absolutely needs a biopic. I, 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 like, right curious. now? I'm curious. This man's no, life right, no, story I'm saying, is I'm insane. Saying, I'm, I'm saying right now. I'm not saying ever. I'm saying right now. Yes. I would, so uh, does okay. Wesley Snipes' character you know. need to you know be dark like, right that. now? It's still early. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> All right, so like, that even goes into my no, conversation. I have a question. Right, that even goes into the conversation about <laughs> versus having a documentary. 
Uh, like, so we're talking about Rich Paul. Why? I think Versus is too soon. Versus like two years well, old. I don't know. Man. I think, but <laughs> my thing is, my thing is, when you do a Versus documentary, and we'll get back to your comment. <laughs> I just want to know. Well, the thing about the Versus documentary or film makes it seem like it's already peaked. So like if they you're just had put, a battle. Yeah. They just, if you're they just a had a battle out, three weeks ago. That's what I'm saying. Like if you're putting a right. film out about it, then it's like, oh, okay, then it's, it's done. It is it has hit its crescendo. Everything it's that gonna, is supposed to happen, whether it be a, a tour, a right. concert, or a, yeah. just whatever it is, mm -hmm. it didn't everything yet. everything has already been done. Right. Yeah, it hasn't evolved yet. Like there's still more battles to be had. Yeah. You're announcing this on the heels of a battle that happened Valentine's Day, which was like what three or four weeks ago. Mm. So it's like and shout and out Music Soul Child. Yeah, shout out Music Soul Child and uh, Anthony Hamilton. And we saw this built in front of us. Mm -hmm. A documentary is something that we weren't really there to experience. We weren't really there to understand the impact of yeah, it. Yeah, we're still in the midst of we're it. We're still in the midst of it. Like mm -hmm. the playlist, the the conversation, like all those things are still active. Mm. Not to say we don't want it, mm. not to say it's not needed, but it's just like the creation of content should not be that pushed. That well, everything in the media is, again, a turnaround thing right. way quicker. Yeah. We like, we're getting reboots for, like, I Am, Le not, I I am, am Legend. I Am Legend, yeah. I Am Legend, Will Smith, like, and Michael B. Jordan. I don't yeah. want that either. N not at all. Um, did he die? Yeah. You know, we all thought he did. So what the he fuck? Did. Oh, so he magically there's, didn't there's die? Other ending there's like, there was a yeah. deleted scenes thing, but that was even worse ending. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's just like we're, we're just, the turnaround thing is just go, like going around too fast in Hollywood and media. Yeah, I agree. Music, like or I mean, like just, so that that brings yeah. all like the whole points together, like the verses, the I am, you know, I am Legend sequel, the, uh, the White Man Can't Jump. I think it's just like the curation of content right now is just we're like, rebooting Blade, and that's like. It's like regurgitation. Yeah, Blade ain't that old. <laughs> like, oh. like you're throwing shit. Where's Wesley Snipes? Why they just? I mean, he did well shit. in fucking. Kevin uh, Hart killed him. Yeah, he uh, killed that he show. He killed that show. That, uh, that, uh, that true, story. Show? True, story. true story. Yeah, true story. Great. Well, yeah, he did. Kevin killed him. Uh, and true. Kevin killed him. That, sorry for the spoiler Laughing. for you guys, but yes. If you ain't see it by now, nigga, fuck you. Uh -huh. I do have <laughs> issues with the, the that, that ending to that, though. <laughs> that ending was fire. <laughs> that yeah. ending was fire as fuck, bro. Kevin Hart, yo, that, the Kevin Hart, the, Kevin the don't kid. Kevin get that Emmy, bro. The kid, Bad he, he, he might get that rightfully Emmy that. Should, Rightfully so. That ending was fire. But he turned into a gunslinger the last. He did, like, yeah. Because I don't know how you pick two niggas off like that. And then, yeah. and then you pick your brother off. This is my first two shots I've yeah, ever took right. in my life. I, I, that ace, ace. That like, ending was fire, though. You ain't group. Or you, say, you ain't Hollywood, group, Hollywood you ain't, makes shooting a gun seem very easy. You ain't zero the weapon. That's somebody <laughs> else's gun. That's not... Yeah, you, right. know? you don't pick up... Like, people... That's the, that's the thing that bothers me in Hollywood. You don't just pick up guns and shoot them accurately. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Like, that's... First off, it goes... Boom. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's, it's flying yeah. out but, your hand. But that, mm -hmm. like, everybody... Like, your height... If To your height, to his height... Yeah. And you're having an M4, and it's the same weapon. Y'all, a sight visions are going to be completely different right. because right, your arm Dexter. thing is yes. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, why like, that's why that throws me off. <laughs> Let me not piss you off, my man. Yeah, oh, man. military. Like, hold on, why you killing yes, my yes. man right now? I said Dexter. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah, like, like he would butter. he would come into the room and tell you how everything happened. Yeah, you'd be like, man, the uh, whole freaking Lowe spilled the drink. I'm like, no, Rosie. He'd be like, the way the way it fell. Lowe had to be sitting here. Yeah, it was because he couldn't do it from sitting there. Look at the way it splattered that way. The way you frame them by putting the yeah. cup over there, you can't <laughs> um, Before we get out of here, we're talking about films, um, and we're talking about we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. the last episode of what? Genius. Yes. Mm. Cootie and Chike. We were talking, yeah, Cootie and Chike. They got 30, 30 million from meal. Netflix. Congratulations. Crazy. That's, that's a big feat, and you deserve it. Big. Just watching everything Huge. that we, we saw. And, you know, of course, we were having a conversation off camera about mm. who we would want to see out of our favorite artists in a documentary. Oh, yeah. Like, 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 like their growth. Like, yeah. like this is the growth. Like, this is like what we saw with Kanye. Yeah, like someone who from the bottom. See? Man, I would give all the tea in China for a Lil Wayne documentary, <laughs> that don't even, bro. That don't even belong to you. <laughs> Not the point. <laughs> Not he the just won't give away it's someone else's shit. I will give away somebody else's shit so fast. <laughs> I would, for me, Outcast. Outcast, oh, okay. Just how yes. vastly different they were on, like, like Andre's just like wearing these. But give me, yeah. give me the time frame, because for me, yeah. the Wayne documentary, mm -hmm. give it to me from like O one on. Yeah, like nah, from, you gotta that, that's you got to go back. No, that's I want to go. I want to get I it from go, back that ass. Catch me, catch. Give me the Wayne story. 
right after back that ass up. Like he's already famous. And then 500 degrees. And then go to 500 degrees, Carter one. You want tape. you want after back that ass up. Yes. That would be oh, sure. like, too I want... incriminating and illegal. What? what do you mean? Why? Why would you... It'd probably be mad incriminating because it's, it's a... Sure it yeah. well, I, mean, well, I mean, I think every rapper Everyone's documentary like, oh, would have a lot of incriminating. Well, Kanye's... Yeah, 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 a lot of incriminating shit. With rapper you documentaries aren't the beacon of like law-abiding <laughs> yeah, behavior. Like, that's like, not, but yeah. I feel like yeah, that's why... I'm spoiled with this Kanye <laughs> thing because yeah. Kanye's not a criminal. There's yeah. not too many criminal activities but moving even around. Like, even, all right, so even think about like backstage, right? Right, 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 right. Meth and Red, Ja Rule, Murder, Inc., Rough Riders, Rockefeller. Um, like, the shit that they showed us was already, like, mm -hmm. yeah. shit y'all niggas doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, having the women in the van mm -hmm. and, like, just all that shit. The bathrooms. Mm -hmm. Imagine, like, the shit they left on the cutting room floor. Yeah. But it's also, like, there's certain rappers that I feel like wouldn't allow that because of the lifestyle. Like, why are you recording this shit, bro? Like, no. Well, I feel like it's there's hard. a lot of Wayne footage out there that, like, yeah. I'll, I forgot the dude's name who, uh, oh, 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 he's from uh, Nork. Scoob. DJ Scoob. Yeah, 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 yeah. DJ, DJ Scoob. Scoob. Yeah. Um, he's somebody who's, and that's probably how these things are going to happen, right? Because after Kudi and Chike get $30 million. Oh, they're going to start, yeah. Oh, oh gonna people start are going to start popping up like, yo, I got 10 years footage think worth about, of think about the rock and Drake shit. footage. Or, <laughs> you know the, the, the funny thing? People are going to just bring up bullshit. Like, yeah, this is a, a freaking uh, Travis Scott. I got like no, five or six years worth of Source Magazine flip cam footage that yeah. if it was decent, if I shot on a decent camera, yeah. I would 1,000% sell think it. About, about. Think about the footage that Choke No Joke has with yeah. Rockefeller. Yeah. Or even Lenny. Yeah. The pictures I, and like. But what they did the, was they let it go already. I would like to see the. Nah, I think they, I think yeah, they still, they still have a lot of shit. I would like to see the whole Atlanta, um, those guys come up. That, mm. that like come up how family? they just, Yeah, like how they just, like the field mob came in there and then like all these, like, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. CeeLo and all them guys. I would like to see how that blew up and became something like what it is now and it give me, influenced the sound it is today. I would like to see that documentary. Give me, give me a documentary and I know they had a movie on it but give me a like a legit documentary just like Cootie and, and then for Kanye. Give me a documentary with Dr. Dre. Okay. okay. Give me like, give me like a, like of that lens how, how they did it with Kanye. Give me that lens. See, I, I wouldn't, I would like Snoop over Dre. Well, that, that that's going to be incorporated in that story. No, but I would like just Snoop. Snoop has a long... Because I feel like Snoop just... I, yeah, he I dived like, into so much different shit, and I want to know why and how. I feel like for a Snoop documentary, it would have to be, like, very segmented. Because he's got so much history. Like, mm -hmm. if I if you could pick it up... Like, I would pick it up, like, right before the trial. Like, the murder trial. Take that's when he reinvented his whole shit. Take it from the murder trial up until, like... He's cooking Drop crepes like with Martha Stewart. That's what I'm like, saying. Does, That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to know how th that, how did that happen? Yeah. Like, yeah, like the, and then like, what's really going to kick off for me is like that era when he mixed up with Pharrell with Drop It Like It's Hot. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Like, like, you know what? You know what? You know what? Who? Give me a documentary on Bow Wow. Yeah. Yo, low key? Yeah. Not Give low key, but low as the keys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be a hella interesting Give documentary. Me, yeah, that's going to doc. A lot Give of girls going to get in trouble, though. That's ooh. true. Mm. A lot of who? A lot of honeys going to oh, get in trouble. Ba Bow Wow was, was the Derek Jeter of his get, time. Yo, yo, like, give me a with these give older me, women. Give me list. a documentary on Bow Wow. Give me, let me see how Jermaine helped shape him. Give me, let me see how Snoop. Mm. Hell shit, like when he put him on tour. Mm -hmm. Let me see, you know, his relationship with Chris Brown. That's Omar wild. Did Romeo. Mom, that Romeo, that, that whole thing, that B2K, the Scream Tour. Them Scream Tours. Yeah. Footages. The, just, some ooh. stupid. 106 in Park, the acting phase. Bow Wow has so many different ages in his career. Mm. And he's only like 30. And he's only like 30. Yeah. And like a lot of these niggas are still trying to accomplish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like, like people I don't feel, like to give Bow Wow his credit because he's a every, child I, rapper I, I or whatever. Know, bro, that, but it's like, yo, y'all understand. That nigga? Bow Wow was the dude yeah. growing up. Me and, me and TZ talk about this every week. We have our, uh, converse, our hip hop conversations. I'm like, yo, Bow Wow at 14, 13, 15 years old was competing with 
on the charts with grown ass yes, legends like yes. Luda, Nelly, uh, yeah. 50, freaking Ja. That, the Dixie Chicks, the Britney Dixie Spears, Dixie, yeah. <laughs> Christina Aguilera. Christina, like, he was just as popular as like, all the most and popular people like, in that. And, I hate, and yeah. I hate to see, like, when, when we talk about him on social media and, like, some of the clown shit he's done, like, everybody's done clown shit, so we're not, I'm not secluding him to whatever, but it, it, it sucks because we know how important he is just to pop culture and like the teenage culture mm -hmm. i don't think we're ever gonna get that again huh i don't think we're ever gonna i, I get that don't again. i don't and, and, and because and his you know who we might get away no i don't think we're gonna get that mm -hmm. not there's that is, big i do is, not that is, i do not th and I mean, that long right. too yeah that and he's still he's still like he, had, yeah, so he was young lengthy, young lele yeah, lay -lay, bro young nah. lay -lay. young lele lay -lay, no, man no. yo lay -lay. Uh, no 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 hold on like and before First you go lele can wrap her ass off yes. she got a whole show she got a whole show on nickelodeon what was on nickelodeon then they took it on netflix yeah but like she's hella popular very popular she does like mike that's what I'm saying. I yeah, think, but she I has think a whole her she's, own what, show. She's 10, 11? Nah, she's older than that. But she's Bow Wow didn't have a show. All right. He so, was on 106 in Park. Like, right, no, I'm saying like, right, like right, a, right. I get that. A but I also like, think Bow Wow was the right the person at the right time, too. Yeah. Like, he skipped the TV and went straight to box office movies. Like, yeah. I don't know what kids do now, but when we were that age, uh, yes. Bow Wow was our age, and we're running home to watch 106 in Park, and he's he the king a 13 -year -old. of that show. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and like... All right, so like, this is not... This is no detriment to Lele, because Lele was spitting freestyle really in her, hell, in her daddy's car. Yeah. Like, that's that was her thing, and that's how she got so popular. She got, you know, a lot of young black kids were looking at her like oh that's what i want to be and she capitalized off of it and it was dope and she's got a she low key though. be she could low key be on some fresh print shit that might be the thing those the keys yeah well, that might be the thing but mm -hmm. now from the things that we've seen with bow wow like bow wow has number one albums bow wow had incredible singles bow wow has had number one movies bow wow has had number one shows like bow wow has done has touched so many different things in entertainment that that's a hard thing to keep Mm -hmm. Keep up. And then he did it again. And, and not to say Lele can't but I, do it. I think so, she will. Yeah. She, yeah. Not to I, say she I, can't do it, but right will. now. It's, it's, it, I don't think it's going to be done like I don't the way think so either. Did it. I, think I, think, I think she will. Man, and and we're in different times. Yeah, I say it's, we're in different times. I feel like child actors are a lot more groomed than they were back then. Yeah, of course. I, think I it was feel harder like, to do it then. I feel like with Bow Wow, it was just so. Because he wasn't an actor. Yeah, like it was so new. I think now with child stars, they're a lot more. There's a lot more of a gradual rise, right? Like Zendaya is like the biggest shit out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's the, the biggest female to me, the biggest yeah. female actress in the world, in my opinion. Right now, right now, okay. and started on the Disney Channel. Like started singing on Disney Channel, and like mm -hmm. she wasn't nobody. Like Ariana, I mean, she was Ariana Grande. Yeah. Same thing, you I know mean, what I mean? And it's like same thing too. You know, they've had they've had a lot of tests you know what i'm saying they've had a lot of you know examples of you know it not going the right way and i think now but we've gotten enough child stars where it's like all right don't give somebody too much too soon because i think what bow wow he had so much so soon and he did very well with and he, of course but his but competition like, was so much heavier yo, his competition was with with now. thick mm -hmm. he was dealing with snoop yeah like, <laughs> like you yeah, know and, I mean? then, and then you like and then you have jermaine dupri as your mentor and his wheelhouse in there, this nigga was producing from Mariah, Usher, yeah. the brat, fucking told uh escape. Mm -hmm. And he had like to you deal going with down the and that now you gotta deal with that and, and then and, and then him, blueprint Jay-Z. <laughs> blueprint right. three Jay-Z. And then yeah. him and then him doing what uh Two. with Criss Cross. Yeah. Criss Cross. Yeah. You yeah. understand Chris what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, like, like so imagine and, being in that wheelhouse. And, and then on top of that, the R and B was hot too. He started to do with Usher, Omarion, the bands like Sierra, no, no, Mariah, Mariah Carey was popping. Sierra was all over the place. Like it's so imagine competing with that. Yeah, but Mario. I mean, we all say uh, we say that to say that Bow Wow. I would love to see a Bow Wow documentary. We, I agree. We know, we know exactly. What are you doing? What are you doing? Like he always does. I was over here. Like, Chris, call the Chuck, club, everybody. Come on, man. Like, talk. Like, bro. Like, All right. Bro, like, bro, with that being said, it's time to go. Let's go. 
We almost wrapped up. Like, anyway, they let me. We got oh, 47. Oh, we good. Yeah. Come on, bro. No, like, like, come on. Do it with me, Lo. Do it with me. Lo, do it with me. <laughs> do it with me. <laughs> no, I'm not doing nothing with you. Like, I'm sitting here trying to make a serious point. Bow Wow, we love you. But, you know, my man's not even Shit. like giving you your flowers. Like, time, I'm on him and his jeans don't Wait, have the, You and the rest of social media. <laughs> like, don't, like, don't, don't, you don't, the rest of social media when it comes to Bow Wow. That's what the that's what social media does. Yo, Don't Bella, laugh. just real good shit. Uh huh. No, yeah. meme. Yo, he's no, he's meme. the reason. He's, he's, he's like, the reason. Let me give you. His he's the reason. I'm trying to get some respect. Me too. He's one of those reasons. <laughs> he's one of those young kids. <laughs> Y'all yeah, like, know what this is. This is internet right there. That's oh, like, he's that. one of those reasons why niggas can't like be serious. Like now, why we fuck with you, my nigga? Like we love. I'm you. not. First off, come uh, on the show. No, he's trying to get into wrestling too. I'm waiting for you, bro. Let me tell you. Hey, no, we got talk more room for you. We got room for talk over here. Talk that talk. We anyway, love you, bro, bro. man, we have more. some more topics to get to, but we'll get into them next time. Hopefully, well, that's what we're uh, Cain Velasquez and Brittany Griner. Uh, praise out to Brittany Griner. Hopefully, she gets home safe. Mm -hmm. uh, and free Cain Velasquez, because if you can't shoot nobody who's molesting your kids, who can you shoot? Right. That's the only way to put it. That's literally the only way to put it. That's something that has you something that perfectly. If you can't shoot somebody yeah. molesting your kids, who, who the hell can you shoot? Sometimes I got to like that. Why do we have put that? Yo, that, I'm putting that on my on my bunker <laughs> mat. If I can't shoot somebody who's molesting your kids, who can I shoot? I'm doing the job for you, police. When you know when you know your friends, sometimes you go, yo, let that first verse rock out. Like, let that man go. If that's how you sum it up. That I don't even got to add shit to that. That is a decal. That was good right shout there. Shout out. Uh, uh, praise up to Brittany Bro. Griner. Uh, crazy situation with her, but we'll talk about that uh, another time. Admittedly, I want to get more research on it because it's a very serious subject, especially mm. with everything going on in the world. Mm. I don't want to say something that's not correct. So that being said, I hope she gets home safe. Yeah, incredible agreed. basketball player. Incredible athlete. And again, free Cain Velasquez because shoot child molesters. That's what you should be able to do. Yeah. Um, wow. Oh, um, right. you should. about the green and blue bubbles. What, what do you mean? Low ski. What's up, You man? know you do it all. I try. And you do it without breaking a sweat. I, listen. And you do it all in style. Do I? That's why Xfinity fully reimagined the QX60 to help you conquer it all with ease. A luxury SUV as functional as it is stylish and as versatile as it is serene. Available features like seating for up to seven passengers, a suite of active safety features, and massaging front seats, introducing the all-new Xfinity QX60, designed to help you conquer life and style. Now, with extremely limited availability, contact your local retailer for inventory information. And I'm copping now. Hey. <laughs> Well, then, that's evergreen. Right. We'll do it another time. Uh, You're saying it's the ego thing, though. But, right. What's the yeah. ego thing? It's the ego thing. Bro, the blue bubbles need to get delivered, bro. I'm gonna All right, right. let's go. Let's go. I'm just saying, like, Swerve. The, the green and blue bubbles. What's your week looking like, bro? You back on back on the, the big the big boy yeah, TV. Yeah, gotta go back to Florida. Wednesdays, AEW. Live Dynamite on Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. And Friday nights, Rampage, 10 o'clock. You know? TBS for I'm Wednesday. in Ireland next weekend. I have Two. no idea Double what shot. any of that means, right, but if you tell me what channel they're on, I'll watch. my I man Swerve on CBS, AW Dynamite. TNT watch him on Friday. Rampage. TNT Friday nights. Yeah. Uh, got an album uh, coming out, too. You got a good picture of my beard? Hey. Uh, thanks. Got an album coming out, too. March 18th. Tears. Me and TZ, bro. It's doing oh, big things. Shit. Shout out my boy TZ. You're yeah. going to be at Wally Mania this year yes, as well. will. Performing, too. Can't wait to see y'all, man. It's going to yeah. be a great time. It's like a, it's like a family reunion every Wally Mania. So I love can't it. Can't wait for y'all. Yo, shout Hello. out to Wally for bringing out J. Cole in North Carolina. Hard. And Hard. And Raleigh. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. I saw really him in L.A. Oh, yeah, on Friday, right? He did. Huh? It was on Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was Friday. good. That I saw him in L.A. He brought out Eric Bellinger. Polka Dot can go crazy. Yeah, you know, Polka Dot, that's, that's a record. But him bringing out J. Cole because they was on the BP3 tour, that Blueprint 3 tour with yep. Hov, and then performing that record uh, for the blog era people that you know, crazy. Like, follow them. And watch this is like the unofficial the blog era podcast. <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't care about no new music. I'm we just don't. Like, no let's new talk friends. about J. Cole, no Drake, Wale, Big no Sean. There's enough with, podcasts. There's enough. Big you know, Sean was my blog era guy. We are the old <laughs> niggas that love that our, our artists. I know what I like, <laughs> and I <laughs> likes what I like. Hey. Lowski, what's yeah. your week looking like, bro? Uh, what we talking about? Apple we Music. Got, uh, what we talking about? We uh, Apple Music, uh, hip hop R&B throwback, rap life review. Uh, finally getting back into the studio. Studio back. Oh shit! Uh, finally getting yeah. Next Monday we going back into the studio. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm glad about that. Um, me and Rory still working on 
our pi our project uh, mama's uh, mama knows best mm -hmm. so look out for that hopefully in the near future but other than that you know i'm just trying to find some uh some shit to do oh shout out to my nigga trav in atl he's got a big studio so we're trying to work on some stuff so i'm just trying to get the fuck back outside like, i'm tired of working from home so mm. oh, i know Rory. that's I some right every sunday on euphoria shout out <laughs> Shout out like, Rory, man. What? Shout out Rory and Maul, man. I love that. that. That's one of my favorite podcasts. That's right. Bit mm -hmm. one of the biggest podcasts out. Congrats Hell on yeah. the, uh, the AMB nomination as well, bro. <laughs> Rosie, what <laughs> you doing this week? God damn it. I'm out of town. Out of town? That's it? That's, that's, that's it? That's it? Are you out of town? Yeah, I'm out of town. I don't even... I know yeah, not to ask yeah, more yeah, than yeah. that. Yeah, she says good. I'm out of town. Uh, you catch me on MSG PM. Catch me on the Mass Man Show. Catch me on... Um, doing the betcast as well. I'm going to be calling a few Nick games in the next couple of weeks, so check that out as well. And of course, mm -hmm. if you haven't got your tickets already, get your Wally Mania tickets, livenation.com, House of Blues, Dallas, March 31st. Doors open at 7 p.m. Uh, shout out to Foot Locker and Spotify, two of our big sponsors for the show. Nice. It's going to go nice, real, real crazy. Um, Matt, live Mass Man podcast before, uh, from eight to ten with a ton 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 of surprise guests and moments and from 10 on Wiley hits the stage lots of special guests as well if you go into Dallas for Wrestlemania weekend and you don't go to Wiley Mania you're playing yourself it's the best event of the weekend that's not in the stadium I promise you that so when are the matches well Swerve will be at the Supercard of Honor April 1st uh what's the where's the venue at again what are you yeah. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Dallas. Oh, the man at yeah. Fourth Coffee. Yo, I had to ask you a question before we get out of here. What? Nets and the Knicks are playing each other fourth, uh, April 6th. Okay. At the Garden. You want to roll? Can I? Let's roll. Okay. Wait, Shall I? <laughs> Shall I? Can I? Hey, well, Can let's, I? Take, let's take it all home. Shout out to our guy Wolf behind the board. Shout out yeah. Jake. Always holding it down. Sam with the photos. Thank you, Weezy and Alex for WTF Studios. Like we always do at this time, stay free, stay, stay safe, safe, and, and always say less. P.S. Yeah. Say motherfucking less. Rosie, you did very well. You did a great job. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to do it. Well. I didn't want to do well, it, guys. Rosie. We love you. <laughs>